Hello everyone, welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. I'm Rob. I'm Mel. And we're here to play some more Lord of the Rings Living Card Game, published by Fantasy Play Games. Today we're playing the final. Is it the final though? Technically, if you own the next SOG expansions, which at this point aren't released yet, but you might own the previously released SOG expansions. So you might have one of them, or two of them, or three of them, or four of them. Or if you have the newer released ones, if you're watching this in the future, you might have two more. And then you could have more quests to play in this campaign. So it can't be the finale. And we technically have the next card, so we could keep playing. But we're probably going to wait till they re-release the next ones to play it with everyone else who is getting into this game. So this could be the finale for now, but it might not be if we continue our campaign. Hmm. I don't know. I think we have to start over, and I just say this is maybe the finale. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, maybe the finale. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, this is the final scenario of the re-release saga expansion, The Fellowship of the Ring. I think it's what it's called. I think. Yes. Right? Yes, that's yeah, what Yeah, yeah, Fellowship says. of the Ring. The Fellowship of the Ring, which is the, uh, contains... I know Road Darkens is one of them. What's the other expansion? I forget. I, I can't remember all the names. I can't remember all the names. But anyways, uh, so we're playing the sixth scenario of the saga campaign for Lord of the Rings Living Card Game that follows the trilogy, uh, you know, the original Lord of the Rings books all the way through. That's what we're doing. Are we playing scenario nine <laughs> me, again? Hey. Me laugh. <laughs> no, no, Velko. Mm -hmm. Scenario six. <laughs> for the first time. For the first time. Not like scenario five of this game, I think, that we played two times. Ah. See, Frost Haven's not the only game we replay scenarios when we lose, okay? So quit, quit hating. Yeah. We don't win them all. Yeah, the Peter Jackson method. Yes, that's what we're gonna do. So we're gonna wrap up. Hopefully today we win. And then we pause the saga. When they re-release the next box is the plan around okay. that time, which I'm assuming is like later this year, right? Probably. I don't know how yeah. often they're gonna be doing those. But uh and then we'll we'll pick it back up. I don't know if we continue our campaign and carry all their burdens and that with us. I don't I don't know how it works, technically how it worked in the old uh, or I guess it's the same. I never looked at the next PDF or whatever, or the next rule book to see how you can keep the campaign going. But we would probably like start over with some new decks and new cards and heroes from that new box and stuff. Yeah. Um, just to try out new things, right? Um, but yeah. Just 27 easy movies. Yes. Black Riders. Thank you, Carl. That was it. Yes. Black Riders. Black Riders and then Into the Road Darkens. Yes. That's what it was. Yeah, can I remember? There's too many things, too many, too many products to remember from the old sets, and then the cycles not being named the same as the deluxe box, and the it was just like a mess. It is a mess. Definitely not consumer friendly. But uh, anyways, we're here to play that last scenario, and let's uh, let's take a look at uh, some story here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> So this is scenario six, the breaking of the fellowship. Difficulty seven, after escaping the mines of Moria, Moria, at great personal cost, the company of the ring was pursued by orcs to the eaves of Lothlor Lothlorien? Lothlorien. Sure. A closely guarded realm of secret of elves, the border sentries of the Golden Wood rescued the company from the orcs and led them to the Karas Gal Galadon? The city of the Galadrim at the heart of the forest. I know this is torture, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're like, I just feel, I feel the face palms as you guys watch me stumble through this. Um, but anyways, uh, let's see here. There on a wide flat set high among the tall Malorn trees of that land, Frodo and his companies were presented to Celeborn and Galadriel, the Lord and Lady of Lorien. The elves already knew of the Fellowship's quest, and the, and the weary companions were sheltered in Wathlorien long enough to regain their strength. Celeborn furnished the company with boats to take them down the river Anduin, and Gladriel blessed each member of the Fellowship with a unique gift before they said farewell to Lorien. While the boats greatly aided their progress south, the company was divided over which side of the river they should finally go to. Boromir urged them to keep to the west bank and continue south to the city of Minas Tirith 
where his people prepared for war with the Dark Lord, but in Frodo's heart he knew the path to Mount Doom lay on the eastern shore, under the shadow of Mordor, yet none of them knew that, that orcs already prowled both sides of the river, some bearing the red eye of Sauron, while others the white hand of Sauron. So set up, we're going to be playing, it's just its own encounter deck of cards, no pulling modules from any of the previous scenarios, and then there's going to be, spoiler, multiple staging areas. Um, and so we'll just read this quickly here. When playing the Breaking the Fellowship, the players are instructed by Stage 2B to create their own staging areas to do this. Each player sets aside an area in front of them to serve as their own staging area and places their quest Stage 3 here. Players continue to resolve each phase of the game in player order, starting with the first player. After a player commits, a character, commits characters to the quest at their stage, they reveal their encounter card. Then, they compare the total willpower of the characters committed to the total strength of the encounter cards in their staging area. If the total willpower is greater, they place progress on their quest stage. If the total strength is greater, they raise their threat by the difference. Other players do not raise their threat when a different player quests unsuccessfully. During the encounter phase, players only make engagement checks against enemies in their staging area. Effects of target enemies or locations at this stage do not affect encounter cards in other player staging areas. Archery damage is calculated separately at each stage, and only the player at that stage can assign that damage to characters they control. Unlike previous scenarios, this part tripped me up. Unlike previous scenarios with separate staging areas, which we've played them before, players may continue to interact with each other through the normal rules of the game. So correct me if I'm wrong, but... <coughs> Sorry. It's all good. I can hold it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if Mel draws an encounter card, I'm... Pretty sure I can cancel it with one of my cards. And I can give a resource with Theodrid. Assuming Mel went first and quested first. She was the first player. Let me move for one second. Yep, yep. Yeah, so uh, I assume you could do that. The way this says you can... Interact with each other through normal rules of the game. However, cards that reference the staging area only apply to your staging area, and cards that reference the quest only apply to your quest stage. No? Carl says no. No? I was watering. Hmm. <clears throat> so then what are they meaning by that paragraph there? Yeah. Like... This is like too... This is way too vague. Way too vague. Players can interact, you know, assuming you remember stuff from separate staging areas, which we don't. I just remember we were completely separate and we couldn't even do anything with yeah. each other. But this one says we can interact. However, cards that reference the staging area only apply to your staging area. And cards that reference the quest only apply to your quest stage. Nothing there seems to imply that cards that cancel or revealed treachery matter where they're revealed from. Right? Does that card say anything about a staging area or a quest card? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Let's check. Cancel the Winry little effects of a card that was just revealed from the encounter deck. Hmm. Yep. Nothing there seems to mention the quest or this stage. <clears throat> hmm. 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 Well, if only there was an FAQ. <laughs> Uh, <coughs> which would be where? Somewhere over here? FAQ! Lord of the Rings, FAQ. The there only we're... other thing I'm thinking is that they actually mean, like, I can still put cards on your characters, I can still, like, unexpected oh, like courage and things like that. Like, I can still interact that way, hmm. but I don't know, like, what other way would you need? Hmm. Yeah, going to the FEQ, Kate, good call. Oops, sorry. The mic. It seems like one of those things that's like not consistent and they were super vague. And we're even looking at the newer rules too, right? And they just kind of half ass that for sure. Uh, okay. Let's... Yeah, because they could have just put example. Uh, I guess this. we should. What are we looking for again? We were looking for breaking of the fellowship, maybe? Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Sep. Uh, oh. Okay, a separate staging area. No, that's just Serata. Let's just look up separate. <coughs> Let me mute again or. Sure, hold on a second. Actually, can I just go upstairs for a second? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. We need to delay this. You just say the words, man. <coughs> I said, are you sure you're able to stream tonight? Yeah, no problem, she says. And then her lung came out of her mouth and hit the floor. <laughs> oh, man. Here's the rest of the game. Wow. Yeah, she, uh, yeah, Mel's, uh, if you're watching over the weekend, Mel's, uh, had like a chest cold or whatever. Um, but she saw the doctor today and they gave her like a little puffer to help her get over it, but. I don't know. She's got like a tickle today and it's all about the coughing. So again, I got to try to make sure she's not talking that much because I have the same thing when I get like a dry throat and a tickle and then I talk for like five hours on a stream. I wonder why I'm like coughing and choking and stuff and not drinking. Same problem, right? Like a tea or something, because that would probably be smart. Not not like cold water, right? Like a nice warm tea. Yeah, I don't know, man. I call BS. Carl says you can play attach attachment on each other, defend each. Uh, you cannot interfere with another player's staging area. Think of Mel's and counter cards as peril. Carl, where where did you get this from? And and how can somebody defend against something else in a staging area, but like you can't interact with their cards in the staging area? That kind of sounds like BS to me. Sounds like you're just kind of making stuff up. But I mean, I know this game can be silly, and I know rulings between different designers over the years can be silly too. I, I learned this very early in FFG uh, fandom days. Yeah, like depends who answers a rules email, uh, all of a sudden it becomes like a different ruling. So you're saying like, I, I'm able to attach things on to her characters like they're with me. I'm able to defend against enemies in her staging area attacking. But then you're saying things that happen, events that happen at her staging area, I can't interact with. Sounds made up. Sounds made up. And if you have any rules, reference, links, page numbers, anything, Carl, that backs you up on that, that would be cool. But if not, that's okay too. Don't, don't waste your time looking. I just find that's really weird. But yeah, it's just too bad the rules are too vague, right? That's the only problem. So yeah, I'll play that way, like not canceling, but it's just weird, right? You can interact with each other. 
that what it says? Interact. Yeah, let's let's read these BS rules again. <laughs> so it's like it's referencing. <laughs> I love the way that they start by referencing like you may have only bought this product, you know, after buying a core set. And we're going to reference unlike previous scenarios with separate staging areas. Like like every player who buys this product plays them all the time. Players may continue to interact with each other through normal rules of the game. So Mel draws a treachery and I play a card to cancel it would not be me interacting with each other through normal rules of the game. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to call BS. I'm going to call BS. Yep, yep. I'm going to call BS. Yeah, so this is just us symbolizing us on each, like, we're just fighting from each side of the river, right? Like, we're together, but, like, separate. Uh, oh, Kate, do you have a comment? See above comment. Uh... Hmm. Matthew says, question, does the cancel ever hit the staging area? No, you, you, um, or does it cancel right off the encounter deck? Well, you like draw the card and you resolve it. I don't know if you truly like lay it in the staging area. Maybe, maybe. I don't remember exactly how the steps go. Oh yeah. Thank you, sorry. No worries. Oh, see, you're above comment. Uh, Kate, I don't see a comment other than the ones I already addressed. You mentioned the FAQ, you asked if Mel's okay. <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. Um, yeah, sounds like you should be fine. Yeah, sorry, Kate, I don't see another one. Other than the ones I already already addressed, I think, right? I just think logic says if it never hits the stage area, it's a mute, moot point. Yeah, I don't know. So the consensus is you cannot cancel. Well, no, Carl's just saying that <laughs> that that's the way it should work. But like, oh, okay. I, I don't think Carl like works for fantasy play games, but. Carl probably knows a lot more about the rules than we do. Yeah. But again, I've had so many people, especially with this game, any of the LCGs actually, all like nine of them I've played over the last 12 years or whatever, uh, every time, every time, like 30% of the comments that are left on videos or people in the chat are wrong, like about rules they say. And they're like, this is the way it works. And I'm like, prove it. And they send a link, we read the link, and it's like, that's wrong. You're wrong. You're reading it wrong. Just like I read wrong. Mm -hmm. Like, it's all comprehension. But it's like, yeah, or, or like we find that, oops, we were actually right, or we were wrong. Like, it, it happens all the time. So it's like, not that I don't trust Carl, but it's like, I don't know. Like, that may be just how Carl played, or Carl interpreted it, or, or the friend that taught Carl the game 10 years ago told him that's how it works. You know what I mean? Like, just not saying that's the case here, but you never know, right? You just never yeah. know. But when someone's like, Rob, FAQ, entry here. Oh, it. yeah. Then I'm like, okay. Or boom, BGG post, search for this. Here's the designer answering. Boom. Then it's like, okay, Yeah, because cool. then you have confirmation. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I will just Google it, because maybe we find, because there's this, the cache of the old FFG forums. Maybe. Maybe we find the answer. I'm really just killing time for Melta. Calm down, drink your tea, and not cough. So no, it, it definitely is better now. Thank <laughs> you so much. I I just um, I start watering when I when I start coughing yeah, I too. So I'm like, I'll just run away from That's it. That's what happens to me all the time. <clears throat> it's been pretty good lately, though. Another good question when I Google it comes up is does Doom apply Doom apply to both characters if it comes off one oh, we, staging area? We did it. We were doing it, but like Yeah, we did both these, took it. Like, yeah. There's so many questions based on that stupid vague rules. 
Uh, yeah, I bet I'll find tons of posts related to it. That's so weak. No, Kate, your search comment is not showing up. That's strange. Not even I looked. Not even being held. Yeah, Kate. Like I, it's just I, not yeah. even showing up. I have it set to live chat, not even top chat. Let me let me switch it again. See if I can trigger it. Yeah, nothing's coming through, Kate. No, because usually I can see here. I can see if comments are held. You, you must be using really bad swear words uh, for it to not even show us. Yeah, I don't see it. Sorry, Kate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is why this is why I'm like looking it up because Carl's saying like we can we can still defend for each other like in separate staging areas. You have an enemy on your side of the the river. I have one on my side of the river. Right. I'm able to defend your characters, but like but if you can't I, cancel my if if I had Sentinel, right? Right. But I can't cancel like some bad thing that's happening on your side of the river. Yeah. And I'm mm -hmm. allowed to like throw attachments like here, take a necklace. <laughs> Take a necklace over here, but I can't like yell and stop that bad thing from happening. I don't know. Kate. <laughs> oh! That show <laughs> Kate uses her super chat. Board Game Geek. Multiple staging areas breaking the fellowship. Okay, thank you. Kate, I, I have thank the, you. I was just reading through some Reddit posts the same thing. Okay. <laughs> Kate, thank you for using that super chat. Much appreciated. <laughs> that is a clever use so right this there. Is what I'll do. I'll pretend no, I can't read anything in chat and I'll tell people they have to use super chats to send them. And then some people just want to tap more, so then they start to say, ah, yeah, this could all work out. Right? Could you imagine you only read messages that way? <laughs> we would... I'll never be no, that big. No, no. We would be just be big. talking to each other. <laughs> That's like when you're a streamer, you have thousands of people watching, the stream's just flying. Oh, yeah. And then you have to only read the filtered ones, because it's like, mm -hmm. the, the other one's moving way too quick. <laughs> uh... <clears throat> That's funny. Okay, multiple staging questions. Uh, is it this one, Kate? Multiple staging questions? That's what came up when I googled. Um, on Board Game Geek. Sorry if this question has been asked, sorry, missed it, I couldn't find it on search. In Breaking the Fellowship, you make multiple staging areas, but the rules talk about you still being able to interact with other characters. But I'm kind of confused. Yeah, aren't we all? Oh, she said no. Not this one. Okay. Well, hmm, okay. I mean, we can, let's keep that one open. She said, yeah, maybe that's good too, though. Board Game Geek. Ah, uh, here we go. Found it, found it, found it, found it, found it. You play with two players and you have your own stage here. What happens in the following situations? Can I still attack with range character against enemy of my friend? If I reveal an encounter card with Doom, does that hit every player? Yeah, that's the question I have now. Pursued by the enemy, when revealed, each enemy not in the staging area and engaged with the player makes an attack. Is that for all players or only his staging area? I think it's only your staging area for that one because it clears that up in there, mm -hmm. I think. If Fertile's Choice is revealed, both players go to stage 4B. Yeah, this one oh, we this were confused. confused. Me. <clears throat> yeah, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, but we cool. were confused. When we played the other day and we were like, huh, how does this work? And we like didn't look it up. We just kind of like read through and took it slow and figured it out. Uh, but we could have been wrong. But now I'm curious about mul multiple things. The rulebook says, like, uh, unlike previous scenarios that used a similar staging gimmick, Foundations of the Stone, again, relying, the rules relying on you to own another product is, like, the worst thing I've ever seen in the fact that FFG didn't fix this. So sad. That's, like, just saying, like, we don't care about someone new to the game. Like, this, for the, the, the hardcore players who already know all about this stuff and only play this game every day of the week, you know? Mm -hmm. it, this is all you need to know. We just changed it up a little bit. And you're like, what? Huh? huh? That's very bad. How did that get printed? In Foundations, you were basically supposed to be completely separated. So things like Doomed and your own card effects didn't affect both players. It was basically like being in separate games. In this scenario, however, they do. Thematically, it's as if you separate it in different areas, but in the midst of the same battle. Range is okay. Doomed hits both players. Pursued affects both. Do you know my last question? <laughs> uh, only the players revealed for those choice advanced to stage 4. Okay, we did that right. The other players remain at their previous stage for the rest of the game. The other stages have powerful effects, and they can engage enemies revealed at stage 4 through the text on stage 4, so the other players still contribute a lot. As for your last question, only one advanced to stage 4. 
Okay, thanks, but I don't completely understand. The player stage. Da, 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 da. In stage four is the following text. During the quest phase, reveal one additional counter card for each player in the game. That has only effect on the player in stage four. Thematically, just like the book, Frodo and Sam ring bearers are getting away while the rest of the party buys them time and pulls enemies. It's a very rough quest to play solo, actually. No, 4B's effect is for every player. It's confusing because in Foundation of the Stone and most other separation quests, it would be for only that particular staging area, but this quest handles separations differently. You're still in the same game, so in a two-player game, you reveal four, three cards for staging, three cards for stage four, and one card for stage three. The other players can pull enemies from 4B. They choose once... Gotta, okay, okay, whatever. That's not correct. When I just saw a playthrough. <laughs> oh god, here we go. I saw someone do it on the internet, so it must be right. My battling average my batting average is terrible today on your thread. Yep. It would be three cards of stage four and one card for stage three in a two player game. Uh to be fair, it's wonky. This was a big waste of time. Alright. There is nobody who knows anything in that one. Nothing. Kind of confused what this means. Doesn't mean players can interact with each other. Oh, we have a designer. Well, it's not necessarily the designer of this game. Oh. Oh, it is an FFG. Um, this guy, oh, yeah, okay. fathomable. Tony Finchy. Uh, okay, let's see. For example, what if one player is Northern Tracker or Lorian Guide? Yeah, watch, watch, watch. Uh, no, I'm just looking if he's on here. I feel like he does work for FFG now, or or at least designs, but I, I could be thinking of someone else. Well, hold on. Uh, how do you... No, no, it's not on this one, but that doesn't mean oh, anything. Oh, look, website, fantasyflightgames.com. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's listen to what this guy says. Yeah, yeah. Now this is where I start listening, yeah. Okay, hold on, hold on. Lorraine Guide are both. Northern Tracker says to add progress to location in the stage area, but there are two of them, similar with Lorraine Guide and active locations. This affects the same. effects affect enemies in the area, like Haldir, for example. From the rules booklet. Useless. Oh, no. Useless. I'm fairly certain you're correct. The rules supplement says during the encounter phase, players only make engagement checks against enemies in their staging area. It doesn't specify optional engagements, but I'm pretty confident the intention was you could not optionally engage enemies in other staging areas. Having said that, I would guess that a card allows you to engage enemy, not engage with you, i.e. Tactics Aragorn from the Lost Realm, would allow you to engage enemy engaged with another player in a staging area, or in another staging area, since it does not specify the staging area, which would confine you to your own. Hmm... Okay, that didn't help yeah, either. Yeah, that didn't help. Okay, let's just... It's funny, this guy's not even sure. I'm fairly certain, but who It's the... funny he just quotes the rule book. Who the F knows? Ah! <laughs> 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 uh... Holy... I think we just play, like, if, if Doom affects both of us and we could defend or attack each other's characters. And put attachments on each yeah, other. Yeah, like, I feel like we are still able to, like, cancel each other's effects. And as they were saying, like, we're still in the same battle. We're just kind of, yeah, like, yeah. fighting on separate sides. Yeah. Oh, Caleb had a ruling here. Oh. So Caleb's saying it wouldn't, threat wouldn't raise for both players. But that was for Fog at the Barrow Downs. Mm. But for this one, yeah, the guy's like, I'm not sure.
<laughs> no, I know. We should just play what the way we joke. were. Just play the way we played it when we practiced. <laughs> this is a joke. <laughs> I just want to show. I was like, I don't know. We'll, we'll ask on stream. We'll see what people say. I Google the internet. I don't know. Someone will find maybe, but I I can only do this for so long before I, I want to put a gun in my mouth. Oh man. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. You buy a game to learn it and play it, not to sit there googling. Freaking rules questions. Oh my god. And you know what? The situation situation may never even come up. You may not even have a cancel on it. So But I just didn't I just wanted to see what that vague statement of we could still interact with each other. What that meant? What the hell does that mean? Yeah. Unlike other scenarios that play the same way that you probably have never played before or played a long time ago and don't remember, you know, you just play this way. We'll change one rule, but we don't even know the original rules you're referencing. Mm -mm. What the hell is that? It's like the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Emmy says, I'm not sure it matters. So as long as you're consistent and if things feel too easy, you're probably doing it wrong. Right. We are playing on easy mode, but yeah. I yeah, see what you're, saying. you're right. But again, there's a lot of luck involved too. So it could feel easy if we're just getting lucky. Yes, Matthew, exactly. At difficulty seven, let's, let, let's cancel. <laughs> like it's fine. Michael R says, you're both pro players. You know how games work yeah, yeah. <laughs> or not work. <laughs> yeah, we do try to break things in our favor, right? We're like, well, it should work like this, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just also shocked that the new rules didn't clarify. Like there's obviously lots of discussion about that and it probably caused lots of emails to FFG asking about rules. But then it's not clarified. And on the reprint, they didn't take advantage to like, just like no one just caught that and was like, well, that seems a little vague. And we're also releasing this product and it may be the first thing they buy after the core set. Like maybe we should kind of like think about the new player who doesn't have a thousand card pool, you know, a thousand dollar card pool already. Hmm. 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 Anyways. All right. All righty. Shuffle our decks. Done. Place heroes and set initial threat levels. Set up token bank. Determine first player. That's Mel. Yep. All right. Draw set up hand. Each player draws six cards. No, I only wasted a half hour. <clears throat> Anyways. All right. Oh, hello. Two unexpected courages. Hmm. What do we do with that? I don't have a great hand for... You have a Steward of Gondor flying, no. floating in there? I have no. a shirt that I could give to Frodo. Does he need it, though? No. Doesn't Frodo, like, kind of kind of leave us uh, a little, little helpless? Yeah, so this is not a great hand. Yep. I'm going to mulligan this. I don't like this. Hmm. I do have two unexpected courages, which feels like could be really fun. Oh, that could be good. But I don't have any cancel. I don't have Steward of Gondor. But again, I only have two in my deck. I don't have the Gandalf Staff. I don't have Galadriel to help me get attachments. But two Unexpected Courages feels like it could be really fun. That is fun. That could be really fun. Half an hour. So right on schedule? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. We were planning on getting to this one really quick, except for I had to ask the dumb question of... How does this, how do these rules work? Uh, Alrighty. I think. Let me try again. Now, are you allowed to see my full, like, mulligan if I. I don't know. Before? Don't because, care. like, maybe I have a card that helps you. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep it. I'm okay. going to keep it. Oh, I have a dagger. Oh, I have a pony. Okay, this is better. I this changed is... my mind. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This All is right. a better hand because it's affordable with yeah, like, two yeah. cost characters. Get some allies I have out. a dagger, yep. so that makes Mary better. <clears throat> Double ponies, that's good. So when I lose one, I can gain a, another one, giving my hobbits extra health. <clears throat> okay, I'm happy with this. Yeah, so if anyone watching later, I know there will be somebody who watches this later. Obviously, we're playing later at our time, so a lot of our viewers will be watching this tomorrow or the next day or months from now. Uh, if you are watching this and you have an answer to this, referenced anywhere, just drop it in the comments below. Like, what did you Google? Where did you find it? Was the designer of the game that answered it? Did you find something in the FAQ or the rules reference that makes sense? Like what the hell it means that players can still interact with each other. Okay. Yeah, that's so weird. Okay. They were vague, so we'll just Yeah, yeah, whatever. We'll guess what they were implying. Okay. Uh stand and fight. Okay, whatever. All right. So next we have to start with our setup for the scenario. We're playing campaign mode. Okay. 
Starting with the first player, each player chooses one of the Fellowship Boon cards. The following ones I'll go over right here. Attaches it to a hero they control. The chosen Boon cards have been earned by the players, so we put them in the campaign log and we carry them forward. Shuffle, followed by Knight and Ill Fate in the encounter deck. Those are two burdens, which I shuffled in. So basically, because we're playing easy mode, uh, about half of the deck now is burdens uh, at this point. <laughs> Serenity now. All right, so that's that. Okay. Uh, here are the four things we can choose from. If you have any suggestions, yell them at us. We have Leaf Wrapped Lambus, Lambus Bread. Uh, set up to attached, set up attached to hero. Action, add Leaf Wrapped Lambus to the victory display and remove it from the campaign pool. To ready all heroes in play. So you're stuck, Good. you've quested really hard, a bunch of enemies come out, they're now engaged with you, you're like, oh crap, I'm gonna die, so you can ready up everybody, and we can defend and fight and all that stuff. Great, great times. These are Gladriel's gifts to us, by the way. So when she, if she shows up this game, we have to thank her. Okay. Action, add three golden hairs to the victory display and remove it from the campaign pool. Lower each player's uh, threat by three. Then each player draws three cards. This is the one I chose in our practice game, because I'm just like, Lower threat, card draw. Yeah, please. Yes, yes, yes. I chose the bread. Uh, file of Gladriel. File of Gladriel. Or Fial? Fial? I don't know, whatever. Uh, added to the victory display to, and removed from the campaign pool. Give each enemy engaged you minus four attack until the end of the round. This is kind of like a... Um, what's the one that they get, can't attack that you play? Red card. That they can't attack? Yes, you stop an enemy from attacking. A faint? Faint. This is like fainting all the enemies engaged with one player, mm -hmm. or both players if we're together. Then we have Lorian Rope. Atta add Lorian Rope to the victory display to remove it from the campaign pool, and remove it from the campaign pool, sorry. To give each location in the stage arena minus two threat until the end of the phase. So if you're getting a little location locked, or you just need to quest really hard, and you're in a bunch of locations there, you just want to get past them, there you go. I still think I like the bread. Oh yeah, I know. I, like these two, yeah, yeah. These two that we picked the first time, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I just love the threat reduction, card draw. Yeah. Great. My threat gets kind of high sometimes, and card draw can help you in this game a lot because card draw is not too plentiful sometimes, especially with limited card pool. And then the ready all heroes is like stops yeah. us from those game ending turns that can sometimes you get yourself into. Mm -hmm. Just gets you out of a tight spot, I think. Yeah, I'll take the bread again. All right. <clears throat> And again, we're not continuing the campaign, I don't think, with this setup and these cards. So we can pop them more freely, but if obviously you want to carry it forward, you keep it in your campaign pool and, and continue going through the saga with it. Uh, let's just throw those over there. Attach it to a hero. Well, <laughs> I'll put it on Gandalf right here, because he never really gets attachments. <laughs> okay. Uh, we can't draw on the first turn, but got our resources. Uh, we still have these in the staging area haunting us. So remember to add Grievous Wound to somebody when a, after a hero takes damage. After attach your exhaust, deal one damage to it. And then we also have this one. After a character destroyed, attach to a hero, any hero. After a character you control is destroyed, exhaust attached hero. So then another round, attached hero cannot ready. So these both kind of like... Kind of really nerf two heroes at the table. Mm -hmm. Very annoying. Very annoying. All right. Uh, okay. Set up. Set Furl's choice, seat of seeing, and path, or path, sorry, Galen aside, out of play. Done. I'm uh, 90% sure. Yes. All set aside, out of play. Okay. Uh, add Argonoth. The Argonoth. Okay, it's immune to player card effects. X is the number of players in the game, so it's two threat for us. The players cannot travel here while this other card's in play. Uh, while it's the active location, we skip the combat phase. Okay. Okay, that's just in the staging area, waiting for us. And then this one. Uh, immune to player card effects. Three threat was in the staging area. Uh, when it's explored, deal one damage to each exhausted character. Fun times. Fun times. Enemies right now get plus two defense, cannot be engaged. 
Skip the encounter phase. Huh? Players cannot advance while this is in play. And the players can't travel here while this is in play. All right. So we, right, we got a couple of layers yeah, to this one. Just, just a few layers to this little puzzle. A few layers to this little puzzle. And it's 12 to progress through this, the Great River, card 1B. Okay. Uh, speed questing. Mm -hmm. Problem is, yeah, we got to travel to this one, clear it, or travel this one, clear it, and that will allow us to get through that. Yeah, so it's, so it's, it's like, like a couple of rounds for it's sure. Like three ish rounds, right? Yep. For sure, minimum, I think. <clears throat> yeah. And the problem is we can't engage enemies, so they're just going to pile up in there. Uh, but we got to hurry, though. That's the speed part. Alrighty. So okay. I am first. Uh, yes. Okay, well. Uh, we're going to play Bill the Pony for free because I have Sam in play. All my hobbits get an extra hit point. <laughs> we're going to spend two for a Hammersmith. And I think I'll put this guy actually out now. I don't need the dagger since I can't engage enemies. I'll put the dagger out next. Mm -hmm. On Sam. We'll just get bodies out there. He can't quest, but oh, yeah. just in case something happens. I don't know. Row, row, row your boats gently down the Argonoth. <laughs> nice, Edward. Nice. Oh, I should probably maybe play this card too. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Okay. Well, Snowboard. Can you keep your hand or? Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. I have like no characters to help with questing. It's unfortunate, but we're going to spend two blue. We're going to put Unexpected Courage on Gandalf. We're going to put a Wizard Pipe oh. on Gandalf. Power has begun. Uh, this guy can come out, but he can't interact with these locations. So he's literally just a body, but he can't quest either. Useless. But of course you can if you got Faramir going. I do not then have it's him like yet. ads, but whatever, right? Right. Uh... Okay. Other than that, I think I'm good. Yeah, it's gonna be a little rough. Now here's the question. Do you hold him one turn if he can't quest? Yeah, maybe. Just in case we get a location, because we'll yeah, have to travel right. these ones first. You're probably right. Yeah, because we're not engaging enemies, right? Yeah. That's the thing. Do you want necessarily need yep, body? Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That makes sense. Questing. Questing, you say. Um... You know what? I could give. You know what? I should have popped this like right away. Oh, go ahead. It's still technically. Yeah, but even before you saw what cards you did, because it might change completely. Yeah, it just started off, right? Oh, I can. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do it. Cause like I need, I need other cards, right? Yep. So drop her threat by three. Oh wow. So I'm at twenty-eight. I'm at seventeen. And each player draws three cards. Oh, another dagger, yes. Yeah, oh. see, look, this like totally changes like my mentality now of like what, how, how we're doing. No, didn't really change anything for me. I got triple bill the ponies, everyone. <laughs> yeah, so I, I would attach this for sure here. Stuart of Gondor, this guy. And then we flip this one up, Corbin Tomb. Yeah, because if I can get some cancel or something, it'll be good. Uh, I'm then going to put Unexpected Courage on the top. Flip it with this. And then pay for it with this. So I haven't done that yet this turn, I don't think, because this was played from hand. This was played from hand. Northern Tracker. Oh, Love to get Gladwell going, but we can wait on her. She will help us quest hard, though. I probably should have went on hard on her, actually. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that instead of the Unexpected Courage. We say we put Gladriel there instead. So she would come into play. I spent all of these resources. And then we look at the top five. Oh, hello. Hello. 
Attached to a noble hero or Aragorn, restricted attached to gets plus one willpower attack and defense. Yeah, I'll just stick this on uh, Gladriel to give her extra willpower for questing. Or uh, Eowyn, Eowyn, Eowyn. Not Gladriel. Whoops. Sorry. Yeah, there's there's two test of wills right there, so we're definitely going to put both those. Uh, let's do it like this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the way to do it. You don't need um, Frodo's resources at all, do you? For anything coming? I don't think so. Okay. Do you have a neutral card or something? No, I have um, the card that I can give oh, all, yeah, everybody yeah. plus one, and yeah, then yeah. I can draw four cards. I'll wait till like one of these is there, but just watch out on this one, remember, because it damages all the exhausted characters, so we yeah. have to be very gentle with this one. But I won't have... The other play is trying to get 12 on there, so that once we do get past mm -hmm. these, we just auto-pass. Okay, questing, I guess. I guess I could wait two turns, because you're going to get Frodo, then I'll get him back. Okay. Um, questing. Two. Five. Six, seven. Eight, nine. I'll quest for nine. And all three. Another five is eight. Nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Um, and I still have him standing in case there's anything that says exhaust him or uh, I'll do yes, this. Yes, yeah. yes. Well, Twenty-one is very high, so. So this is your card. <clears throat> yep. Oh, it's a burden surprise. So Doom one. Eighteen. Go up by one threat. Surge. When revealed until the end of the round, treat the printed text box of each character and play it as blank except for traits. Okay. Ouchie. I could cancel that, but I don't think that's the no. one to cancel. Surging. Oh, no. Another surge. Oh, archery. No. Uh, toughness one. So it's kind of like he has two defense, kind of. Archery one. He has plus two attack against characters with two or, f two or fewer printed hit points. He's surging. Oh, my God. So apparel. When revealed, put the topmost enemy in the encounter discard pile on the plane gauge with you. There's none. There's none. Sweet. Okay. And it's surging. Oh my god. Come on now. Yeah, this is kind of a joke. This is easy mode, by the way. Uh, the River Anduin. Okay. While it's in the staging area, it gains force. At the end of the travel phase, each player at this stage raises their threat by one. Then, River Anduin moves to the staging area to the left, if able. Oh, okay. All right, all yeah, right. Yeah, we're in big trouble here. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's five to get through that one. Uh, okay, so now my card? Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, slopes of Amon Hen. Travel. A player at this staging area engages one enemy in any staging area to travel here. Interesting, interesting. And just like that, our staging area is loaded. All our characters are blank. I'm just leaving this here to remind us. Yeah. Till the end of the round. Uh, okay, so we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We're up ten. Up ten, all right. And I can't pitch cards for this to give it an even twelve, but that's fine. Okay. Travel? Uh, if we don't travel here, we'll start raising threat. But then we're not going to this one, which you need to get through. Oh, do we skip... Oh, no, no, sorry, never mind, never mind. We skip um, encounter. Yeah, we skip encounter. Um, In this one, we skip combat when it's active. Mm. I don't know, there's a choice here. This will add a full extra round of enemies filling up here, so I, th I think we ignore it and let it raise our threat. Yeah, it raises only one, right? This each uh, time it stays there? Yeah, each player raises their threat by one, yeah. So we go here? Yeah. And when this one's explored, we damage each exhausted character. So keep that in mind. Okay. Okay, that's travel, so we gotta raise our threat. So I'm back to 30. 19. And then this doesn't move. Um, and then we skip encounter. Okay. And then combat. Just the archery uh, the happens. Archery, I'll right? take it on Bill the Pony, because I have three of them. Okay. And I think... Um, Oh. After hero takes damage, no. After character's destroyed. Okay, we're still good. Okay. 
And that's it, right? Yep. Okay. Back to 20. I'll raise threat. 31. Yep, back to the starting threat after one round of the game. Oh, a stone. I don't have any way to play with that, though. You don't have any big characters yet, right? Because you didn't... Nope, nope. that was the only okay. one. So I can put a thing on this. Okay. I don't know if that matters. Okay. Um... Like, there is a play here, I think, where if we did try to quest it, we go, like, all in heroes only, see how much we can get, and then I pop this to ready all the heroes, so, we don't so get nobody damaged. gets exhausted if we can pass this, but I don't know if we'll have enough. I'll be able to know before, because... What do you mean, pass what? Like, to clear this, because oh, we have yeah, to clear yeah. that in order to... True. But there's... There's players' actions after... After like reveal one card per player, and then player actions, so we'll know like the, like when we would use Faramir and all of that, right? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Oops. And two here. Unexpected courage. I think. Yeah, it's by the right play. And defend and attack multiple times. Mm -hmm. Card draw. Okay. I guess I'll play this guy. And we'll put one on this one. I think that is that. Okay, I'm just going to spend one and put a dagger on Mary. And then... Oh, yeah. Oh, Did no. Give I him a resource? No, I don't want to do that yet. Hmm? I don't think it gave him a resource. Right? You didn't spend any from him? No. Yeah, yeah. So oh, I didn't, I didn't give him a resource, but it's fine. No, I'm going to save that, actually, because I want to play... Um, to give a hobbit plus two willpower. Okay. So I'm actually not playing anything. Nope. Okay. Questing. Uh, I'll throw Gandalf in there for three. A little unexpected courage ready. Uh, one, five, six, seven, eight, nine on my side. Hmm. Yeah, no, not as much as last time. No, but I can do another nine. Well, hopefully Eight, I can nine. card pitch also to help, Three, but... Four, five, seven, eight. I can put Frodo in. I can also play this later. But then, like, all everyone will get damaged. That's the problem. No, I'll ready all the heroes. Oh. Before that can happen. So then I'll put Frodo in. Okay, so you're 9, 10, so 11, 11, 12, 11 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and I can increase it by 2. And plus I can pitch a card. Okay. Okay, so we'll see what happens, and I will pop that if we clear it off. My card is... Ooh, glowing, growing threat from a glowing sword. Peril, uh, wind revealed, either move one enemy engaged with you, the first player staging area, or growing threat gains doom tomb and surge. Mm, yeah, I'll cancel that. Wait, this is mine, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Your card. Another dummy. When revealed, discard an ally you control. Okay. Bye. Archery X. X the number of players 
in this at this stage. Ouch! That's three total archery hitting us. Sorry, I had to discard a player or a character. Is that what it said? Discard an ally you control. Oh, and then I have to deal archery. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm just reading oh, this guy's sorry. card. I didn't. I, I wasn't sure if you were telling me all those things I had to do. Sorry. Okay. Well, you read the card, right? I had it up here, and you could see the text. I didn't read through oh, all okay. of it. Sorry. Right. Right. Okay. Um, but then this is after, after a character is destroyed, it's removed, right? Not destroyed. Discard, yeah, nope, wasn't destroyed, so we're good still. Okay. So I think we're fine here. I think eight, uh, sorry, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then that's three. Uh, number of players at this stage, two. Nine, ten. Okay, so we should have ten. Ten in here we have. So then I will pop this because we'll be up eight mm. i'll pop this um put that in victory ready all heroes in play okay and then we're up, we're up eight. eight so four goes there yep and then when this is explored uh mm. deal one damage she's exhausted character which is none got him so this okay. goes to victory display then four goes here so that puts that okay. sorry to 12 and we because we only we're at 10 so this is explored fully no no this is still in play we can't oh we can't go anywhere. oh sorry so this sits at 12 yeah, sorry multiple steps forgot all right all right so travel mm -hmm. if we don't travel threats going up uh if we don't travel this one but we can't get through this until we get through this so if we want to keep going just let our threat go up okay at the end of travel so we're going to travel this yep we need to we gotta unless, rush through this unless i want to ask you a question about breaking what i don't like to, uh, okay go ahead i just want to ask you a question about breaking something like see if we can um so this says to travel here a player um at this staging area engages one enemy at the staging area to no, travel here we can't engage enemies cannot overrules okay everything. okay so then i was gonna yeah. say because then we could try to get one cannot be engaged okay so not then allowed moved. so then yeah travel there no cheating see that i understand cannot understand okay. uh so we can't travel here while that other location is in play. We just cleared it. While it's the active location, we skip the combat phase. Oh, so that we'll means archery. archery doesn't matter. Okay, good. Oh, zing. Good. Got him. And then our threat goes up. 21. Oh, yeah. So end of the travel, yeah, because the river is still flowing. Yeah. Uh, or that card's still there. Threat goes up. So we're skipping the combat phase. Boom, we're done. Alrighty. End of turn, crap. Okay, ready, everything. Raise threat, threat. by one. 22. Pass first player. Oh, yeah, I didn't raise my next card. Draw. Money. Oh, Hobbit Cloak. Yes. Very, very good. Very good. Okay, I'm first player, so I'm going to put Hobbit Cloak on Sam. I'm going to put a dagger on Mary. Still don't have another big carry. Oh, I'm going to put another pony in. We're going to I could put two daggers, or I save for this. Um, no, we're going to put two daggers. And then spend that. I'm tempted to do this, if you're okay with it, to spend Frodo's resources, because he does yeah, have quite nuts. a bit. So spend two of Frodo's resources. Um, each hero, hero you control gets plus one willpower till the end of the round. Draw one card for each hobbit you control. So I draw four. One, two, three. Yes, four. Okay, so now we will put a stone here. That'll make this plus one quest. Oh, okay. But then I can put in Bjorn Ooh. with the stone. Look at that. Okay, things are looking good. Oh, yeah, it looks great on the green screen. <laughs> If your attached case is explored, the first player puts one ally into play from their hand. That's Ooh. if we explore it this turn, but... Yeah, whatever. We'll see. And... done. All right. Okay. I think I will do a little wizard pipe to switch this card for this card. I will spend... I guess I'm going to spend one here. And three from here to put a northern tracker into play. And then um, 
Actually, maybe instead I spend all Gandalf's resources for that, and I spend one here for a Dwarven Tomb to grab a Test of Will back from my discard pile. So I'm rolling with two in hand, why not? I don't know. I mean, I can't really use it right now because of what I did, but whatever. And I think that's it. All right, requesting. Actually, what do you got over here? Discard pile. Two costs, I can get him. He's already in play. He's unique. Oh, yeah, never mind. I'll wait till more. Oh, yeah, three for her. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I can't put the stone on, Carl says, because it's immune to player card effects. I didn't realize that atta like attachment was a player card effect. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so we'll wait until next. Yeah, I got to wait till uh, yep. we get one of these ones up there. All right, give me money back. No problem. I th I assumed you couldn't put like an extra resources. I didn't know attached. I know you can't like immune to player card effects. I remember from Game of Thrones like so long ago that uh, anything I like, get attached to try to blank it like wouldn't work. I'm almost like making it worse. I'm but getting yeah. more quest points. Yeah, but it's all good. that's okay. Don't worry about it. That's okay. Nice. We can save for next time. Okay. All right. Easy peasy. Uh, questing. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna quest heavy. I don't think because. As long as we're successful, we're going to mm -hmm. clear this location. Yeah, I just need two up and we're good. Mm -hmm. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in there right now, though. And then we'll probably go into fighting, right? I think. Yeah. And everything is zero, so I won't be able to ready and get my bonuses. So I need mm. need a couple things readied. Um, okay, so I think I'll do two, four. I'll do five. Um, I can. Oh no, I don't have money for that. I can. Oh, all my care, all my heroes, sorry, are plus one. So. Um, oh yes. Three. All your heroes only. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Three, six, seven. So I'm questing seven. And I can up, up buff it a little bit more. Seven. Three, Three six, seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ten? I think. One second, let me double check. I just need to do. Commits to a quest plus one progress. Still going to each location in the staging area. Not immune, not immune. All right. Three. Four uh, plus another five is nine. Ten. Yep, ten, ten right. on my side. Seventeen. Oh, wrong way. Here we go. Your this card is. Oh no! Oh, another, another river into win. We're in trouble. Jeepers. We're in trouble. Jeepers. My card is. Oh no. Oh. Another surge toughness. Oh gosh. Slopes of aim on it. Oh, another one of those. Oh no. Stoops, stoops everywhere. Okay. So now we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. We're up three. Cool. So we clear this. Okay, victory display. This is clear. Mm -hmm. Boom. When revealed, remove the ring bearer and each card attached to it from the game. Treat the one rings text blank while resolving this effect. Reduce each enemy's engagement cost to zero until the end of the encounter phase. Skip the travel phase this round. Oh, so there'll be no travel phase, so this won't punish oh, us. Oh, wonderful. Because there'll be no end of travel phase, right? Actually, just... Excellent, excellent. All right, so their engagement are all zero until the end of the encounter phase, okay? Forced. At the end of the refresh phase, shuffle this card and this card into the encounter discard pile. Then place the encounter discard pile on the bottom of the encounter deck. Start with the starting with the first player. Each player creates their own staging area and advances to a different stage three A of their choice. And we're gonna have some fun choosing those here uh, in a bit. In player order, each player moves one encounter card from this staging area to their staging area. When there are no more encounter cards left in the staging area. Uh, in, at this stage, discard it. So we'll leave this one here. And at the end of the refresh phase, we'll fire that all off. But in the meantime, uh, we are skipping the travel phase. 
Then we go to encounters or engagement or whatever, encounter stage, and enemies are zero. So optionally engaging, you're first. We have yeah, these we three have. enemies. Okay. Three, four, and three attacks. I can, Gandalf can uh, ready up twice. I can defend for five, so I could take, and then mm. I hit back for, here he hits for three, four, five, six, seven. I can hit back for seven. So I can definitely kill one. I could, hmm, how do I do this? This doesn't yeah. really help. Oh, I have this that. way too. I have one of these. I can ready Gandalf again. Although he wouldn't get bonus, but I think it's okay with these guys. Oh, but I'm first player, so I'm going to get two of them anyways. Oh, okay. Yeah, because Frodo was, is gone. So this guy will just die, so I'll pick like uh, the biggest hitter then. Okay. Right? Yeah, and know. these guys are the same, so I'll take this one. Gandalf, and hold on. Gandalf can attack for three, four. Only for four. Ooh. I'm going to take one. Yeah. Oh, I but can... they have toughness. I can hit for seven, so I can get through the toughness on this guy. This guy will just... Mm. Mm. Oh, but I have to deal with the archery X as well before. Archery X is... Whatever. Three. I'll take the big dude. Okay. Well, we all we have to actually deal with archery. No, I know. We're not in separate staging areas yet. I know. You're right. You're right. So, oh. there you okay. go. All right. Uh, all right. So let's deal out cards for Shadow. Mm. Did you stand up anyone or trigger some draw cards or anything? No, because their their threat or their engagement's all zero. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah, until the end of the engagement. Yeah. Okay. Then... So I guess they would still get plus, so they're three. <laughs> what does it say? Each enemy in play gets plus engagement cost for each hobbit you uh, hero you control. Uh, After... I feel like the zero would just keep overriding that. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't Whatever. matter. Even three is... It's fine. I can't do anything with it. Okay. I could be wrong. Doesn't matter. Uh, okay, so I have to take archeries first here. So archery one, archery one. Hmm, I don't want to put on a hero, so let's put one on Bill the Pony. And let's put one here. Okay, and your archery is what? Uh, two. Two. I could put one more on this guy. I could put one, uh, two here on Northern Tracker. Okay. Okay, so that's all four of them. Okay, then defending. Oh yeah, but now a character is gonna get destroyed. Yeah, one of mine will probably get destroyed too because I can't defend both. Oh yeah, yeah go ahead. Okay, Sam is gonna defend this one. Uh, attacking and oh, attacking enemy makes an additional attack after this one. Okay, so Sam blocked it. Th uh, he defended for one, two, three, four, five. Okay, then this guy. Is going to. Oh, no, no, the other guy makes an attack. Oh, again, I guess right, right away. Uh, this guy will defend. Nothing. He attacks for three, he blocks one, two gets three, he's dead. So then that will trigger this one. After a character is destroyed, uh, it's unattached, attached to a hero. Uh, after a character controls destroyed, exhaust, attached hero until the end of the round, attached hero cannot ready. Like, I can put that here. Yep. That's fine. And we'll just flip him like this to know he cannot ready this turn. Because the hero died. Then this uh, this one will be defended here. Oh, there's our No! Friend. We can't afford him anyways. Gildor, no! Uh, he blocks oh, yeah. one to get through. He's dead. Alright, now I can't even kill the one, I don't think. Oh, maybe I still can. Okay, I'll just defend here. Had the extra attack. Nothing. Kills this guy. Okay, go ahead, deal with your attacks. I don't think I can anymore. Three, four, f oh yeah, I can. Because he hits for five with the two um, blades. So three, four, five. He, it, toughness? Yeah, toughness of one. So oh, we're okay. good. Yep. I still do get one. Okay. Okay, uh, I'm going to play Common Cause to exhaust one hero control to choose and ready a different hero. And then I'm going to use Unexpected Courage to ready Gandalf. Then they're both going to attack together. Three, four, five, six, which with toughness is enough to kill this guy. And I have the card draw. No, I guess he doesn't have that. That's a different attachment, I guess. I thought I had that attachment, but that's a different one. Okay, never mind. I thought I'd be drawing cards, but okay. That's, yeah. Okay. 
done, right? Yep. Uh, so we ready up. We raise our threat. We pass first player. Then at the end of the refresh phase, before money or cards or anything, mm -hmm. we're going to resolve this bit. So shuffle seat of seeing. And Frodo's choice into the encounter discard pile. So again, going faster. I guess, I don't know if that's better or not, but um, I think we want to get to Frodo's choice as fast as possible. And you'll see why in a second. Good little shuffle here. And I know that seed of seeing when we play before, it's kind of cool. It comes out and eventually gets taken away, but if you're able to deal with it, it'll let you remove a burden from your campaign, basically. So any one of these annoying burdens, I probably would get rid of, like, that one that you just attached. I think this one's worse. Yeah, or the, the grieving wound. Yeah. Grievous wounds or whatever. Um, but you're able to just get one out of, out of your campaign pool, which is really cool. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, so this goes on the bottom. So I shuffled up those two cards into the discard pile. I'm putting them on the bottom of the encounter deck. And we need to, like, mill that deck to get to Frodo's Choice. Okay. Um, okay. Starting with the first player, which is me, mm -hmm. each player creates their own staging area and advances to a different stage 3 of their choice. And in player order, we're going to draft the characters from the staging area, or the enemies from the staging area. So, uh, let's look at the three A's. And I'm first, so we can choose, but uh, I think they're all the same on the front side. Uh, well, except for the story text, I think, but there's Guard the Hobbits, forced after stage 2B is discarded. If the total uh, threat of encounter cards in the staging area is 3 or less, reveal one encounter card. So in this staging area, so you got to check your own staging area. I think they all say the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so someone has like a nice staging area that's like not really heavy. They're going to give you cards anyway. So there's Orc Hunting. There's Searching the Woods. Or the Seat of Amon Hen. Okay, so if you're playing four player, obviously you'd use all of them. But we're playing two players, so we get to pick. But if you look on the other side, this one's basically focused on... Uh, basically, you have this response. After you quest successfully, you can choose a player. Ready each of that player's heroes is Guard the Hobbits. They all have some like cool effect here. This one is Response. After you quest successfully, discard one enemy. Engage with a player. We got this one here, after you quest successfully, discard a non-unique location in any staging area. Searching the woods. And then we have the Seat of Amon Hen. Uh, after you quest successfully, choose a player. That player draws two cards and lowers their threat by two. This is the one I think I want. Because I like card draw and lowering threat seems to be good. And it goes with that card I took earlier. But we see locations are a problem. So, and this is non-unique only, and all these are non-unique. So, we're already having a location problem, so that could be the right one to take. We don't really have an enemy problem right now, so the enemy one maybe is not the play. I don't know. And ready each of that player's heroes. So you could quest heavy, then ready up and still be able to fight, or have someone else ready up and fight. Man, I don't know. Yeah, maybe the non-unique location one I take. We can just start popping some of these locations out and not raising our threat. Yeah, maybe I'm going to take Search in the Woods. Yeah. I'm going to take Search in the Woods. Uh, after you quest successfully, discard a non-unique location in any staging area. So that'll keep our staging areas under control, maybe. Like, we already have some catch-up to do, so... Uh, yeah, that's the one I'm going to make my staging area with. We'll slide this in the middle. And we don't need to worry about this right now. Okay, Mel, which one would you pick? What do you want? Oh, yeah, hold on. I gotta put it like this first. Sorry, can you pause for one sec? Yep. I will take the ready each of your characters. Uh, ready each of or that player's player, heroes. Yeah, or the heroes. Okay. I just think that I don't quest and defend. Like, I can't do so it all by myself. The you're going to guard the hobbits. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's your staging area, okay? <clears throat> okay. Okay. So these are gone. So now what do we need to do next? 
Uh, in player order, each player moves one encounter card from the staging area to their staging area. When there's no more left, discard this one. Okay. Uh, hmm. What do I like here? Uh, I'll get rid of this. Okay, go ahead. This is my staging area. I can take one of these because I think that will be oh, helpful. Oh, there's this card too. But I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. Uh, I think they're both the same, right? It just depends yeah. on... Yeah. <clears throat> You working on the ones with my buddy. Okay, and then uh, let's take this one. All right, we discard this, and then our thing says something based on that discarding. After it's discarded, uh, if the total thread in the staging area is three or less, reveal one encounter card. Uh, mine's five. Mine is uh, six. Six, okay, so we don't have to reveal any more cards. Okay. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> And we don't advance to this yet, so I'll kind of hide that. Okay. And then now we flip ours, right? Yep. So again, if Frodo's choice is not in play, anytime players would place progress on this quest, you'll discard an equal number of cards from the encounter deck instead. So this will help us dig <clears throat> for the bottom half of the deck where Frodo's choice is hiding that we shuffled in the discard pile and put on the bottom. And then force after Frodo's choice is revealed at this stage... So it depends on who finds Frodo's choice. One player gets to advance to stage 4A, the other player stays at their stage. So it's like you really separate, it's kind of cool. Um, and then response after you quest successfully, discard a non-unique location in any staging area. And Mel says the same stuff except for that last effect. Yeah, equal number of cards from the counter deck instead. After Frodo's choice reveal at this stage, you advance to stage 4A. So we'll see who finds it. Who's going to be the one? All right. So that was questing that did that, right? Yeah. Yes. That so fired off that half hour of crazy stuff. <laughs> so now. The hobbits guard themselves. Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? <laughs> so now we travel. <clears throat> yes, I think. Okay. But, but we do it separately. Like yep. you have your own travel, I have my own travel. Yep, you're first. Go ahead. Uh, I guess it's this one. I don't want my threat to raise at the end. And then it would pass it to you, which is kind of cool. And then you'd pass yours to me. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. I don't know. <laughs> but it's a five, so it's going to make it hard to start drilling cards. But at least I have some progress on mine. Okay. Oh, we just refreshed. Thank you. We just refreshed. We didn't, oh, we didn't draw our yes. cards and get our resources. Thank yes. you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. In my head, it was like, normally that stuff all happens yeah. when we quest. Okay, so resources. Thank you. <clears throat> That's funny. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay, so let me see, huh? I'm going to switch this with this. I'm going to play Stand and Fight using Gandalf's resources. Yes. And he'll play, choose an ally with printed cost X in a player's discard pile. Oh, but this puts it into play, so she doesn't get the whole bonus of searching cards. That's probably still good for questing. Yeah, she's probably still worth it. Yeah, okay. So that gets discarded. Next card. Oh, hello. Can't play it off the top right now. Hmm. Yeah, that that's uh, that's all I got. I guess. Mm. <clears throat> oh no! You know what? I am going to play another stand and fight. Yes. Uh, for one, I'm gonna put this snowboard scout. Into play after it enters play, choose a location, place one progress token on that location. And 
think I'm going after this one hard, I think. Oh, but then I could get that one cleared, actually. Now let's go after this one. You took the one where you can also discard a location, right? But any staging area, though. Any staging area. So I'm going to try to help you get yours gone. Okay, so I should put the other one up, then. I think. <clears throat> well, well the, it'll I be can't after the fact, so you'll obviously be able to make your choice and travel after we quests and all that stuff. You'll see. All right. I'm a finished playing cards. I don't think I'm playing anything. No. Okay. So, questing. Uh, yeah, let's go ham. Gandalf. Eowyn. Uh, Theodred, maybe. I don't really need the resources that much. I'm going to keep them for enemies. Um, but Northern Tracker, for sure. And Gladriel, for sure. So, I'll do this, and this, and this one. It's gone. Okay. So I have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, okay. But I only care about my area here. Yep. I got 12. All right. He's not in. I'm putting in three, four, five, six. I'm putting in six. I'm in trouble. 12 on two for me. I'm going to draw my card. Oh, no. Carol, toughness one archery. X is the players at this stage. There's only one now. Discard an ally you control. Well, that's a no-no. That's a no-no. No-no. Cancel when reveal effects of a card that was just revealed from the encounter deck? No, no. No, no. We keep my boys. All right. Uh, your card? Okay, it wasn't Surge, right? No. Okay. When reveal until the end of the round, add one to the archery total at this stage for each ally currently at this stage. Which is one. Okay. 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 Uh, so I had 12 against three. So I'm up nine. So I'm going to place progress here for the response first. I don't think it matters. So I'm going to start discarding nine cards off here. Right, I said. Yes. Uh, yep. Yeah, three were there. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. No Frodo's choice. I mean, I guess that was to be expected because. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, after you quest successfully, discard a non unique location in any staging area. Thank you. And yours. Uh, I quested six. Four is in my staging area, so I'm up two. So we discard two cards? Yeah. Oh, eaten alive. Yeah, see you later. Nope. Okay. Travel. Oh, sorry. I quested successfully, so I will choose myself oh, yes. Yes, and yes, ready yes. all hey, of what the hell, man? I'm just my <laughs> heroes. Okay. And then, um, okay, I'll do it in travel. Okay. You discard cards before Mel quests. What does that mean? Does that mean like you discard like for Eowyn or or you mean here before Mel quests? Is that yeah? I think that's what he means. So you do your full quest phase. You exhaust. But I you did that. Determine your numbers. You, oh, before you before put I even in? yeah. Is that what you mean, oh. Carl? Oh, I thought we're still doing it, but like just kind yeah. of in player order. But it's all random from the deck, so I don't think it matters. <clears throat> Discards. You discards before Melquest. Yes. He says yes. Okay, okay. I'm going to do, though, after the quest, which is what we just did, right? I want to do a player action. I'm going to do a quick strike quickly because we can get rid of this guy. So for one, exhaust a character you control to immediately declare it as an attacker and resolve an attack against an eligible enemy target. So he's attacking for three, four, five, six, seven on this guy. So that means you would have calculated one less? No, it's after. Because I did it the last, like, 
after so here. You could have done it in like that, you know, the. Uh, but I had to wait till he was readied from successfully questing. Oh, I see. Okay, sure. Because I. Yeah, I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. So then that, I just didn't want to trigger all the archeries. Sure. Yeah. Oh, I see. And then yeah. Okay. So travel. Yep. And then this one, um, a player at this stage engages one enemy in any staging area to travel here. So I need to engage yours. Okay, which readies Sam. He's already readied and he gets a card. Uh-oh, maybe that was a bad idea. I didn't know he had an enemy. Maybe I don't you do that. You didn't deal with extra archery, so we're good. Maybe I don't do that. Do you have guys to fight this guy? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so no, I don't travel then. Sorry. I can't do that. So then that's card that oh, yes. I drew. So I engage this guy. Start of thing. Archery is the number of players at the stage. Uh, so archery. I'll put one on Gladriel. Okay. And then I'll defend. Nothing. Gonzo. Uh, is there anything I have for that? Not right now. Okay, and then his toughness. So I'll attack with both these guys again. Yeah, defeated. And there we go. Uh, you wink. Okay, threat 24. 35. Asterisk player. Uh, I keep draw. getting these cards I can't use. Oh, there's gla Glam Dream. Which I knew, anyways. That's what I thought <laughs> I had. Okay. What am I doing? Nothing, I think. I think I'm doing nothing. Yep, nothing. I'm going to play a Calabrian Stone on Gladriel. There's two Restricteds. This one, obviously I have to play it on Candle. <laughs> we get plus two attack. After attached character destroys an orc enemy and draw a card. That would have been awesome to have earlier, but it's okay. We're still, we're still putting more attachments on Candle. So he only has one restricted so far. Okay. And then... Uh, he does quest. Wizard pipe. Put this in hand. Put this on top of the deck. Play this from hand. And we have our little friend. Done. Questing? Okay, questing. You do your whole quest. I'll take a nap. <clears throat> okay, I can ready all my guys. Okay, questing for... Oh, hey, Jacko. Sorry, I missed that. Five, six, seven, eight. Questing for eight. Oh, then we can pass this back and forth. Oh, Two, whatever. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Oh. Your card. When revealed, either move one enemy engaged with you to the first player's staging area. Don't have any you don't enemies. have an enemy engaged with you. Or it gains Doom 2, which we both take. One, two, 26. 37. And, and Surge. surge. Nice. We kind of want surges because we want to find trouble. Oh no, you have another River Anduin. That's fine, I think. Okay. These are in staging area, right? Yeah, not sorry, not, not engaged with me. Okay, we'll keep them up here. Okay, so uh, five is in there. I'm up three. Three cards discarded? Yep. Oh, one. Proto's Choice! So it so says. What happens? This is exciting. If Proto's Choice is discarded, reveal it instead. When revealed, take control of the first player token. And the ring bearer and each card attached to it. So you get Frodo back and all his, his goodies. Oh, I like having Frodo. Okay. Uh, okay. And then attach this to the ring bearer for the rest of the game. You cannot lose control of the first player token. So Mel is always first player till we're done playing. Ta da! Uh, and then. I don't know if we keep discarding. Um, after it's revealed at this stage advance. Yeah, so I guess not, right? Only Mel raises her threat. Oh, from the Doom. It said that. Caleb said that, or one of the posts that you well, said. Well, it said that, but then someone said, but he's talking about a different scenario. Oh, I 
God. But we read so many things that said both people raise their threat. No, I don't think you do. Okay. All right. I wouldn't think so either, but you never know. You never know. Okay. Um. So we have Frodo back. I'm I'm advancing. Yeah, yeah. So this advances for you. So I think it would stop the whole discarding thing because it like as soon as the other one's discarded, it says if it's not in play, it now is in play. So we don't keep doing that, I guess. Force after Fort Rose is revealed at this stage, advance to stage four A. Okay, so you're going to four A, but we're still separated. Sorry, I think just one quick question with that, because I quested successfully. Do I still get to raise all my? I don't know. Because after you quest successfully, I don't know when that what step that is. I don't I don't know if it's like. It's just after you quest successfully. But again, do you put progress tokens on the card first, Mel, or do you resolve you quest successfully? I don't know. Probably the resolve quest successfully, then place place progress tokens. I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna do anything bad to me, but I'm I just don't saying. know. I don't know. You got the books. Go, we'll go read the steps. Well, all broken down in those like 1.1, 1.11, 1 1.12. Like, you know, it probably shows you like placing progress is different. Like, you know, I don't know when you resolve all the quest successfully stuff. Is it before you start getting rid of the like applying tokens and removing locations and stuff? So add the set aside Parth Gallon to the staging area. So that's your staging area. So it's going to be two threat, immune to player card effects, travel, search the encounter deck and discard pile for one enemy, add it to the staging area to travel here, shuffle the encounter deck. While it's in play, players cannot win the game. Oh, you got a location problem. I'll help you get rid of one of them. I can travel to one as well. Yeah. Okay, and then it says, if it is your quest phase, end the phase. Do not resolve the quest. Okay, so I, I don't know. I feel like I don't get to stand them, but it's fine. No enemies engage me, so it doesn't matter anyway. So uh, we're ending the phase, so we end even my quest phase, right? Mm. Mm. This is so messy. So messy. During the quest phase, reveal one additional encounter card for each player in the game. Oh my god. I'm in trouble. They're going to be revealing. Two. One additional encounter card. So you already reveal one, and then there's two players in the game, so you're revealing three cards. Response, after an enemy is revealed at this stage, raise your threat by X. X is uh, to engage that enemy. Oh, so you can pull enemies right away before adding them to the math, I think. After an enemy is revealed at this stage, raise your threat by X to engage them. X is that enemy's threat. Each player at any stage may trigger this ability once per round. Oh, so you can take enemies and help me. Gotcha. Okay, good. When this stage defeated, players win the game, but again, we can't win the game without other locations there. Oh, it only ends my quest phase. Oh. That's not confusing. <laughs> okay, my quest phase is over. Oh, right. Maybe great. that's to solve that whole thing I was trying to, where I was like trying to ready my heroes. I don't know, but it seems all weird. It's all broken. Not a fan. Uh, okay. So, questing here. I have nothing in my staging area. I don't care about discarding that much. Oh, but I do care about getting through this, I guess. But I need to be fighting, guys. After enemies. Oh, yeah, so I can raise my threat to take an enemy that's revealed right away, but I would gauge them anyway, so it like, doesn't matter. Okay, so let's just, um, hmm. Let's just throw Eowyn in. She is, uh, seven on her own. Hmm. Yes. No, we'll even throw Gandalf in. That's ten. Ten. A little unexpected courage. Oh! A winner is me! Ding, ding, ding! But... At the end of the round, discard unless... Oh, the first player spends a resource. He doesn't he... have any. Oh, no. Because he just came back. Oh, no. <laughs> no. So you gain That's control sad. Him. No. He just comes in, says hi, and then leaves. No. One round too early. Phases. I don't know. I didn't feel like that's what we had, but it's okay. The rules are weird for this one. Okay. All right. So... 
You got. I got nothing in there. No. I had ten. <laughs> so two goes here, and then eight hits here. I guess at least you can keep shuffling through the deck. I don't know. I don't know. That's bad though. I don't. It's all those enemies and boot burdens in there. I don't want to see again. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm doing eight. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Oh, one card left. Oh. Okay. Okay. And then you quest successfully. Oh, uh, yeah. After you quest successfully, you discard a non unique location and a player's. Uh, do you want to do any, this one, actually? Any staging area. I'm okay to raise my threat by one this turn and I'll travel there or something because this guy, for me to travel here, I have to take an enemy from you. And if I already have enemies engaged with me. Why would you just travel here so we can win? Yeah, I guess maybe you're right. This will give you an enemy. You don't want an enemy. I may not want an enemy if I. But you got this guy's leaving. Just defend. Who cares? Let him. Let him die. No, they're not coming until next round. He won't be there. Oh, cause you're not gonna travel. What? I'm gonna travel. Oh, I guess I could travel what now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Talking to me. You're making confusing me so much today. It's like you're sick or something. No, no, and no. You're not I making would... sense. I. W we're good, we're good. Yeah, you're like, I'm lost. No, but I was going to say, this I'm one... I'm choosing this one. Yeah. Done. It's okay. I'm sorry, I can't hear you from this side of the river. <laughs> I am choosing this one. <laughs> Cross says you don't discard the cards. You do not discard cards. Have you quite successfully discarded not in any staging area? Okay, cool. Anyways. We'll carry on. All right. Okay, travel, so then I guess I do travel here. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for one enemy, add it to the staging area to travel here. Shuffle the encounter deck. Well, let's see what's in the encounter deck. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for one enemy. We got none in here. Okay. Shuffled. Show me what that was again, though, because it's going to be a shadow card. Uh, attack enemy makes an additional attack after this one. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, because I'll be able to already see him when I engage this enemy. I don't know. What do you, what do you want? You want um, this enemy, this enemy, those Maybe are... not one with archery. Uh, oh, I like can take an archery. I can take an archery. It's fine. Here, hold on. I got juicier guys. I got, like... I got this pretty looking dude. Uh, no, he's going to attack twice. I'll take Toughness this. Toughness two? Take, I'll take this guy. I got this guy who's slinking in the shadows. Toughness one. No. It's for four. Either choose a win reveal. I don't know, but is, is it add to the staging area? What's it say? Uh, What's your card? It's this one. What are you resolving? Search and counting discard pile. Add, add it, it to, to the, the staging. Area. So you'd get by wind revealed effects if that matters. Mm. So that might you might be taking a guy with wind revealed so he's not as painful. But so those are your options. These four cards. So like this guy would only be two, one though. at this stage, and he hits for four, and you need six to kill him. He's not readied. Oh, I can't even kill him because he's not ready. Yeah, I yeah. can just defend, and then next turn. Yeah, yeah. Actually, he is. Hey, Kenji, how's it going? He's attacking <laughs> twice. Hmm. Yeah, you do whatever. Well. This archery can go on this guy this turn, too. Yeah, but I'm not gonna. Yeah. Okay. I guess take this guy because he's not terrible to kill. Uh, and add it to the staging area. Not oh, not engaging just yet. In staging area. I will right, we'll get to draw cards, so maybe that will help. And then she shuffle the encounter deck. Okay, so I'll put this discard pile here. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, done. Okay. Oops. I oh, just knocked that from a different number. Okay. Okay, well. Oh, was it two? Let's travel. Encount, uh, it was two. Engagement. Well, I will engage him. That will ready see him. And I will draw a card. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yes. rid of this guy. We're good. We're good. Okay. So a shadow card for him, if you will. For uh oh, and then archery is gonna happen. Archery one will go here. Sam will defend first for one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, attacking enemy makes an additional attack. But he gets no new shadow card. Okay, so then we'll defend here, which will fully block. Okay. Then uh does he the hit point thing is good, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a perfect guy to block. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then I'll play this as an action. Exhaust one hero you control to choose and ready a different hero. Already, Mary. 
and then he'll attack back for four, five, six, seven, eight. Got him. Okay. That was a good um, off the top. Sweet. Draw. Okay. So I have nothing to engage, nothing to fight. Done. Done. So ready up. This guy goes away because I don't have a resource to keep him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. So go and get shuffled back in. Good. Uh, threat goes up. We do not pass first Nine, player. Seven. I keep that. Draw. Money. Oh, and I can't play that because you have that. Okay. Uh -huh. Is this immune to... Oh, my God. I want to put a stone so bad. I should have just done what I was thinking. Yeah, that's okay. Um, I don't think I am playing anything. Um, no, no, no. No, not playing anything. You have a, one of these in play already, right? Yeah, okay. you can't play it. All right. Yeah, he's a little murder hobbit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, marry the murder hobbit. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Uh, nothing to play. Same. Questing? Hmm. Yeah, go ahead, quest away. Wake me when you're done. Oh yeah, I'll shuffle this in the meantime. I have uh, three in there right now? That's what I'll do. I'm never going to do this myself. This is going to be a huge challenge. Put that on somebody. Do that guy. Don't need that guy. Okay, let's quest for three, four, five, six. I will quest for six. I have three in there right now. I can increase my um, number to two, two more. Wooded Shoreline. All Wooded Shoreline is in the staging area. It gains archery too. Oh, Jeez Louise. God. Travel. Search the encounter deck and discard a pile for one enemy added to this staging area to travel here. Shuffle the encounter deck. Sweet. And then yeah. we have to do how many cards? Th uh, two more cards still. Oh, yes. So the topmost enemy in the counter deck discard pile engage with you? No encounter discard pile. You just shuffled. Oh, yes. Yes, perfect. Surging, though. Feral toughness. When revealed, discard an ally you control. Okay, reduces my number by one. And one more still. Another surge. I don't know how I do this by myself. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We've, after an enemy is revealed from the stage, raise your threat by X to engage the enemy. If you want to raise your threat, you can engage one of them to get them out of the staging area. I, and it says, each player at any stage may trigger this ability once per round. So I can do it also. So I'll just do it, and it's only by, it's only by one. So I'll just do one. All right, I'll do one. I'll engage. Um, oh, wrong way. 28. I don't know. This guy, I guess. Okay, I'll take this guy, see him already, and I'll draw a card. Okay. Okay. And I think it was one more. Yeah. Slopes, uh, travel okay. staging area, one enemy to travel here, okay. Oh, I think I'm... And then my staging area? River and win. Man, go away. Did you quest? Uh, oh yeah, not yet. Carry on. No, that's okay, that's okay. I keep forgetting it's like separate. Um, okay, so separate. I'm gonna play... I don't even know if it matters. Because I'm only now two five on nine. My threat's going up. So I'll play this for one to choose a Hobbit character. That character gets plus two willpower till the end of the phase. So I'm at seven. And then my threat's going to go up by two. 29 to 30. Okay. This is bad, bad, bad. Sam gets plus one willpower from, oh, from readying. So my third only goes up by one, 29. Right. He readied in that phase. Thank you, thank you. My quests? Yes. Seven. Yeah, let's just go seven. 
River Anduin. All right. Uh, which is a two. So it's up by five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. After you quest successfully, discard a non-unique location at any staging area. Yeah, that one would be best. Thank you. Okay. Travel, I think. Yep, I can't travel. Oh, yes. All right. And combat. Or engagement, engagement, but we're already engaged. Yeah, good. So start a combat. You need to do smart tree. I need to do smart tree. Smart Rob, tree read one. your quest card. Oh yeah, sorry. Frodo's choice is in play, so I shouldn't be discarding. I think I might have done that, but last round by accident. So I did what? Eight? No. Five. Five. One, two, three, four, five. I'll just shuffle those back in. Yeah, sorry. The first part does shut off. I'm just so blindly doing it. Okay, let's put that here. That's the archery. Okay, and then the attack. We're going to use Sam to defend. Nice cast me a shadow card. Pass me a shadow card, sorry. And Sam will defend here. Oh, it's our friend. Dang it. Yeah, so I need to do my archery, though, to one. Oh, I'll put one here. Okay, and then I will just defend. Here. Discard a non-objective attachment you control. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'll get rid of wizard pipe. Oh, maybe. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. So this guy dies. When he leaves play, I'll spend one from, I guess, here. Uh, after an ally leaves play, that player's controller draws two cards. Okay. Okay, and then Mary will just hit him and kill him for like eight. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six. And it's toughness one. Boom. And he killed an orc. So I draw a card. Alrighty. Thirty. Thirty-eight. Oh man. Draw. Okay. Resources. Oh. I actually have things that possibly will help me this turn, so one and three. Can play him, but okay, we're putting a pony back into play because Sam is in play. We are putting I don't have any more of those, so we're gonna put an axe. Yeah, I did the starter play. location. Yeah, he did. The archery one. Uh, get ready, Faramir. We can do it again. Okay, I might actually have like something happen in here. <laughs> okay. Done. All right. I will. Actually, sorry, if I can do one more thing, actually. Yeah, cool I'm going to spend these two resources. Each of my heroes get plus one willpower till the end of the round and draw a card for each hobbit you control, which is four, in case there's something I can play. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, we got some things here. All right. We're gonna put Sting on Sam, and we're gonna put a shirt on Frodo for three. And a sneak attack. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, I won't play anything. So <coughs> questing. Questing. Your quest. Okay, so Sam is plus one. I'll oh, we'll just leave this card up here for now. Plus one. So he's uh, four, five. 
six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. I'm going to ready him so it's fine. Nine, ten, eleven. And then I will spend one to ready an ally I control. So I'm at eleven. <clears throat> And I can still put him in for more. Point revealed. Remove all damage from each enemy at the stage. Each enemy at the stage gets plus one to their stats, except for hit points, until the end of the round. There's none. Oh, sorry. Two more. After reveal. Oh yeah. Additional. Oh, I keep forgetting that. River and win. Why River. not? Okay. Feral toughness, you get an Urukai Hunter. When revealed, either choose a player to reveal an encounter card, or this guy makes an attack against you. Um. Mm. He can make an attack against me. Shadow, attack enemy gets plus one, plus two instead of the defending character has fewer printed hit points than the attack an enemy. Yeah, yes. it doesn't matter. He's dead. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I had 11. What do we have here? 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. And we'll put him in, which will add another. He is included because he was in. It adds another 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm at 15. 15. Fifteen. Did you quest the Faramir? Yeah, but then I readied him. Oh, okay. But you could, yeah, you could have used him twice, you know, like, exhaust him to apply his ability, ready him, and then apply it again to get, like, even more. Oh, I guess. Yes, yeah, not a one-time So just action. say you did that. Okay, so sorry then. Hold on. <laughs> Remove? I didn't see, I didn't see you even okay, put so him in, or I would have slapped did because, hand. because I wasn't putting that many characters in, <laughs> so I thought that his two might be more, but, okay, so then this was three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I started with nine. Okay, I just need to do it like this because. Uh, yeah, yeah. Three, three then six, he goes in. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten. Okay, then he goes in, yep. and that gives me another three. One, two, three, so twelve. Then he readies. Three, then three, he goes yeah. in. Again. Another three. One, two, three. It was exactly the same. Okay, fifteen. No, it wasn't. Yeah, because. If he only added two, but now he's it's like he's giving out three and three versus two and three. So it was extra one, it should be, I think. Unless you did something different there. But whatever. All right. Okay. So I'm at fifteen and this was three, ten. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, so five. Clears this. Thank goodness. <clears throat> Victory. I need to be able to travel to places. And put one on there. I'm getting location locked here. Okay. My turn. Yep. Cool. Uh Aowen, sorry. Well, Go in here. Uh, Gandalf. Plus ten. Yes, ten. <clears throat> eleven. Oh, he's not allowed to ready. So eleven. Let's do that. One reveal until the end of the round, add one to the archery total at the stage for each ally. Yeah, okay, no archery, whatever. So 11, 5 here, clear this. 6, more than enough. After you quest successfully, non-unique location in the staging area. Yeah, that one's good, and then I'll travel to one of those. But these ones are enemies. But you don't have any. Yeah, but then you can't travel there because you can't pay the cost. Oh, then get rid of one of those then, because yeah. then I can travel to this one. That's freaking fine. I know, but... You're never going to get through that. Okay. Oh, but this is three other staging. I don't know. They're all bad. Yeah. Yeah, you just need to get some questing power going. Yeah. Sucks that you got that. When yeah. we played before, I got this. I became first player, and I was, like, questing like crazy and plowing through all this stuff, no problem. Oh it's, yeah, there was the raising threat. I could have taken this guy, but well, I can take him you still. Yeah, him, so then you're fine. I can but engage. Yeah, for, oh, he's no. higher than my threat now. Yeah, but here's the thing. 
Higher than your threat's higher than him, you mean? Yeah. So no, then, but what I could have done. Oh no, it's not. It's plus. Never mind. Are you sure? Yeah, because what it's I could have done is taken him, and that would have been two extra there, so you'd have two more on here, you know? Yeah, but your threat's gonna go up high, and you're. Gonna... I'm still like forty or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I can kill him. Yeah, but it, it's still the problem is winning, Mel. Like, no, I know, I know. is more important than you just, I can kill him this time. No, but I can kill him and I can travel here, so I only have three in the staging area now. I know, but this still is like you're throwing away two progress that could be made, right? So I'll just do it, because we need to get this over with, and it's just going to keep getting worse. Okay. So I'll engage this guy. So he would not be in there, so you'd add two more to that. I okay. did, I did. Perfect. Okay. Uh... So yeah, I would have engaged with them anyway. Okay, then... so sorry, travel, I'm going to travel to this one. Yeah, yeah, I have nothing to travel to. I guess I could take him back to travel here. Ah, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. So then I would have got rid yeah, of... Yeah, I didn't realize that we could, yeah. Yeah, I would get rid of this. Yeah. Yes, 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 I see, that makes a huge yeah. difference. So then I travel here and I take that guy yeah, back. Yeah, take him back, that so makes now... sense to me. <clears throat> All right, we're, we're learning how to play now. We're, we're He's still plus four, it. so Sam does get to ready, and I, I do get to draw a card because his threat is higher than mine. Okay. Trixie, Trixie Hobbits. Yes. Okay, here we go. Now, Sam can defend if you will throw me a shadow card. He's defending for one, two, three, four, five, six. Deal one damage to defending character. Okay. Oh. And then Mary can attack back. Oh, no. Right? Yeah. I'm assuming that can apply from anywhere, I think. Right? If Mel's hero takes damage, I don't I think this doesn't matter what staging it's in, right? After a hero takes damage, if Grievous Wound is unattached, attach it to that hero. If after it's that, in after that hero exhausts, deal one damage to it. If it's in your staging area, I mean I guess I we're know. gonna just put it on Brodo. Yeah. yeah. I would think it applies. Oh, yeah. I can't cancel that then. That sucks. No, no, to the hero that got damaged, I think. Read no, it. It, Re oh, I'm sorry. After your takes it. damage, if this is unattached, attached to, oh, to that hero. Oh, okay. that's. I was right. All right. Terrible. Then I came and used it. I know. Him that's what I'm saying. It's very bad. Very Where bad. is Elrond? That's why I we need... got to hurry. I, I'm that's trying. I'm you. I was the not the right person to get rush. this. Okay, so, anyways, the Mary attacks back and hits for seven or eight on this guy, and he's dead. Boom. Okay. Ready up. This guy doesn't ready. Raise threat. And then what is this one? If he exhausts? If he exhausts, deal one damage. I guess he can go a couple times, but that's yeah. bad. I'll just watch out. He might get killed by defending. One. Okay. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Well, in this case, I think we are putting a Hobbit's cloak on Frodo to help me defend. So he has an extra, he's four defense, five defense. If the engagement is higher. Okay, let's do a stone. We need to get... Or mirror in play here. Oh yeah, yeah. For three here. All right, Boromir or I have Bjorn. Whoever has so. the most quest points, low power. Yeah. Um, and then I have enough for that. I need one more for that. So next turn I can do that. Okay, I do. Shouldn't that have attached to Pippin whenever he got injured? Oh. You noob. I didn't even. It was over there. I didn't I know, even I know. It. Yeah, switch it. Yeah, but then he would be dead. Because he's had to exhaust from... Then he's dead. Yeah, so I think he's just dead. Bye. But then you can't play cards that are green. Just FYI. Look, I, but I don't know. I don't know when he got injured, Mel. I have no clue when that happened. You probably put like an archery damage on him. You shouldn't have done that. Well, yeah, I guess I wouldn't have done that yeah, then. Yeah, so then we still go to what we just did. Okay. And it's all good. Yeah. Again, I'm not paying attention to what you're well, doing I, there. Well, that card was on your side. It wasn't on my side. Okay, no, I thought it... no, no, don't. But yeah, I'm just not paying attention. So I should catch it. Because if I was paying attention, I would have noticed and been like, oh, here, take this. But yeah, I was not paying attention. I'm done. I'm in my own little world over here with the separate quest phases. All right. I Sorry, I thought it was on your it's side. It's all so good, it didn't man. It's all good. Stone point blame. It's all good. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, what are we doing? You're playing cards. I'm playing cards? Mm -hmm. Planning? Yep. Sweet. Spend three here. Wizard pipe. Okay, wizard pipe's back. Sweet. Done. Can I do this? Oh, cancel shadow effects, maybe. Ready all characters. Get a card. Hmm. This one's useless. Oh, we're gonna put this one and this one. Okay. And I guess we switch wizard pipe this card with this card and we play this guy. And that's it. Okay. First thing. Oh yeah, the river passing to another player would have made sense too. I keep forgetting, Carl, that it does that. It, that if you raise your threat, the river goes to the next player staging area. So like leaving that there would come to me and then I would be able to clear it, that kind of thing. Oh yeah. So we could do like this where you don't travel to it, your threat has to go up by one though. Then I get it, and this one is gone instead. Right? Okay. This way you have like a more manageable, and maybe you can get some more quest points through. I'm not I don't really know. sure, but I'll try my best. Mm -hmm. I have like two, three, five. I don't think this is a win. I'm sorry, everyone. Unless I can get Elrond to save Sam. <clears throat> Maybe I put him in once. I could um, play this. Three. And get a blue card back from my discard pile. Archer. Okay. So I could try to get you this character too, but like dropping my threat, but raising your threat. I don't know. I'm just thinking outside the box here. Yeah. I just need, I have three sure. Elrons. If I can get him and, and get this location gone, then it's not a problem. Yeah, but he might be all three bottom cards of your deck. I know. But I have this card, which I can play. To ready all character cards in play. So I could do that. I'll put Sam in. I can't He'll do it this phase. Take a damage, but. I guess then I am, because he, he's my biggest quester. He's uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll quest for nine. Maybe I can outquest, I don't know. Okay, go ahead. Surge, when revealed, the first player must either exhaust the ring bear or reveal an additional counter card. The one quest I put him in. So surge is this. I guess we'll do the reveal part. So this reveals. Discard an ally you control. Then the surge. Which is doomed one. Oh, only you. Surge again. Printed. Oh. Treat print text. Watch each character and play as if they're blank. Okay. I don't know which cards we're on now. because This is, this like, is still like one. Because they're all surge. Yeah, okay. So we get a non-surge card. Two, discard an ally you control. And card three. Oh yeah, hold on. We can raise threat to take. Yeah, I raise threat to engage, which is just one. So I'll take one of these guys. You could raise your threat, but I want to take him, so it's not adding one to the whatever, but you do whatever you want. And uh, I need to defend. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, sure. Okay, and then that's your stuff. Oh, one more, one more, I think. 
right? You were ready. Draw yeah. a card. I'm digging. Oh, there he is. Just remember they're all blank, though. Just make oh, sure. Oh, then you I know don't that. get this. Never mind. Okay, so then this comes out. I'm going to play your card effects. When Seed of Seeing is explored, search the encounter deck, encounter discard pile, and play your one bird and remove it from the game. So you, this is how you can get that off of him. Yeah. Shuffle the encounter deck. If you're playing campaign mode, remove that burden from the campaign pool. Oh, look how hard that is to quest through, though. Yeah. So I think that's all of your cards. Your characters are blank till the end of the round. Yeah. I think all of our characters. <clears throat> no, know. just mine. Because it's on my staging side. I don't know, but it just says all characters. This is the problem. Like, I think we only worry about it when it says at this stage or at this quest. That's what's so messy. Like you could just rule however you want, like willy nilly. It's like nothing is clear. It's a very messy scenario. Okay. Uh, so we'll just stream all is blank. Whatever. Who cares? Okay. So my quest is probably different now because that guy's not in. Um, that guy's gone. So three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's still eight. Okay, so I'm up seven. This is really four. And then uh, three get through on here. So this is at six. This goes away. Oh, nice. This goes, and I can put in him, which will help me. Okay. And then yours. Okay, and then I draw a card. Riverian to win. Yay. That's going to go to you. Unless I. That one's unique. I can't pop. Oh, I can deal with mine. Okay. Uh, so I have four in there. And I had three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, four. More than enough. Uh, so I'll get rid of this location, and then I'll travel to here. You're traveling at all? Yeah. Have to do something? Nope. Yeah, you just want to complete it as fast as possible, and you can. Well, I have. Get rid of that I know Elrond's on the top, so. Oh, nice. Be able to get rid of it. Sweet. Uh, okay. And then combat. So I have an archery. Oh, uh, as do I. Oh, sorry. In travel, I want to do a play. Uh, oh, no. I have to do it. Uh, end of phase. Nope. I want to do it. Not yet. Yeah. Uh, I want to do it in combat. Go ahead. Okay. So, archery. I have, sorry, archery one on my side. You have a guy. Oh, yeah. And then after shadow cards, I'm going to sneak attack. Actually, will it matter? Will it matter? I won't be able to fight back, I don't think, because he's only going to fight back for three. Oh, I mean, we'll get some damage on him. All right, we're going to sneak attack in. And then he will defend, so he gets plus two defense while defending against an enemy with a higher engagement cost than your threat. So he's defending for three. Attack of four. He gets one damage. So our characters are blank, though, right? Remember, your, like your other ones that were in play, right? But he's coming in after. Is that I know. I thought you were reading someone else's about... Oh, okay. You're reading his? Yeah. Gotcha. Cool. Is that okay? I think so. Okay. Yeah, because he wasn't around no, when he, that effect I just hit. knock attack him in. And then he's going to take one damage because he only defends for three out of the four. And then um, after he takes any amount of damage, he readies. <clears throat> oh, this might actually be able to kill him. Mm. Is the defending character has fewer printed hit points? Mm, yes. Uh, his attack considers undefended. Ooh! Ooh! Uh, okay, so he kills this guy. Uh, and then four damage will go right here. Oh boy! Okay. Oh wait, 
I think I have shadow cancel. What am I doing? I finally do. Cancel the shadow effect. Duh. So, no. Okay. Uh, you fighting your guy back? Yeah, four, three, and three. So six, and it's four, one defense, and one toughness. So he's good. At the end of the, he goes back to my hand. Uh, yep. Hand off can wreck him. I will draw me a card. All right. Okay. Wreck goes up. He isn't ready. Um, Five. And I'll staff. Two, 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 and four. Okay. I'm get rid of this. After he enters play, choose one. Heal all damage from a hero. Discard a condition attachment or each player draws a card. So I'll get rid of that. Okay. Then. Oh, it was, oh no, it's just that guy. Yeah. I gotta spend one. Then. I'll do that. That's it. Just sneak attack him. He was on top of my deck. I had to draw him. Oh, that's right. But I mean, save the sneak attack for him so you can get her the card and then play him again to heal, right? Doesn't he do that or no? Yeah, but I, I'm okay no. if he has the damage. Hopefully okay. I can survive. I just okay. need to be able to use him. He's my biggest quester. Okay. Uh, so you play cards. I did. Okay. And also going to play this off the top. So now he has a staff attached. <laughs> Ever vigilant. Okay. I'm going to play this guy for two. Mm. Out of the money. Okay, done. Questing. Okay, questing. Uh, three, four, seven. Eight, nine. Do you need a money or a card or thing? Or you want me to cancel or knock a shadow card off or something? Um, I don't need anything yet, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Okay, nine, I think. Uh, four, seven, eight, nine. Nine, and I can increase it by a bit. Okay, nine. First card, when revealed, you either move one enemy engage with you to the first player's staging area. Or it gets doomed to in search. Okay, why not? One, two. 37. We're still on card number one. Mm -hmm. We're a Kai Hunter. Toughness one, we're reveal. You choose a player, reveal an encounter card, or this guy makes an attack against you. Mm. I can just reveal one. Okay. And also take that guy. Either move one, enemy engage with you, or doom two in search. I think that's how it works. Mm -hmm. Do you want him? This is still card. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I'm at 45, so maybe like I can only do this so much, but I could lower my threat to give him back to you, but then your threat goes up by three. I'm, all, I'm at 37. Yeah, but you're going to lose all those like effects. Of... I already am because they're already high enough. Okay. Yeah, like we need to end this. Like we're going to threat out here. I quested as much as like, well, not almost. All right. Okay. So I'll raise my threat, sure, to 47 and take this guy and engage with me. Okay, uh, that was only card one, I feel, still for you. Card number two, okay, the location. Yeah, Faramir died last turn. Oh, man, yeah, you were done. And then this guy, cannot have attachments. Alice with fewer than printed hit points cannot defend against this guy. Okay. So if you want to raise your threat by three, you can take him. Otherwise, he just sits there, and you're going to try to quest through six. Your call. I raise my threat by three. I don't get any benefits. No, I'm gonna. It's fine. I think. I... Okay. So then I have six. I have nine. So then let's play this for two. Oh, I should probably told you I could raise ready all your characters. That's fine. That's still. Oh, oh, I see. Whoopsie. Um, it would just put in that one. Two more, but that's still two. Is that what you're doing? Uh, I could have. Yeah. So okay, I. Okay. So yeah, I would put so in could... him as well. Yeah, because I can so wizard pipe, put this on top. For 11. Sorry, then I play this. I spent the two already. Each hero you control gets plus one willpower till the end of the phase, or end of the round, and then draw one card for each hero you control. So sorry, that's another one, two, three. 
one, two, three, and draw four cards. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, okay. So, so I'm going to spend five <clears throat> and ready all character cards in play. Okay. I don't know. I, like, I don't care. I'll just do it because you're the one who needs to get like stuff done over there. Uh, so then I am up eight. I'm up eight, so six goes here. Okay, so hold on. When this is explored, search the encounter can discard pile and play area for one burden and remove it from the game. Shuffle the encounter deck. That one that I got rid of. Grievous one. Yeah, removed. that's terrible. Removed. And then two more go here. All right, we're halfway. Halfway. Okay. And the encounter deck gets shuffled. Okay. Uh, was he discarded or destroyed? Oh, uh, whatever that ally said. I don't even know. Uh, discard. So it wasn't oh. destroyed. So this. So then have... I would have been up two more then. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which would actually be three because. Uh, okay. Because that's that five. And then he would have readied. Okay. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. And then your quest. Did you already. Where was. That was my quest, right? Two. Uh, this is four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. Okay. When revealed until the end of the round, add one archery total. One. Add one to the archery total at this stage for each ally currently at this stage. I have two, so it's going to be archery, well it's in the staging area, but this one will be gone, so it's two, I deal with archery two, right? Okay. Okay. Um, so I have three, and I said I put in ten, so that's seven, this goes here, and I quest it successfully. Rid of that one. Okay. And, and engage. Travel. Oh, travel. Yep. Travel, search encounter, can discard pile for an enemy, add it to the staging area to travel here, shuffle the encounter deck. Uh, hmm. Any more archery? That is the problem. Let's take one of these ones that add to the staging and it won't hurt. And then engagement. Okay. He's still under because... Uh, he's, he's under? Or I'm, yeah. Or I'm still under because he's plus three. Four. Plus four. And draw a card. That's okay. 40. Okay, I'll engage this guy. Okay, okay. archery time. I have one. Uh, two, three archery to deal out. I'll put one here. I'll put two here. Yeah, I don't have archery. Actually, I'll just put two here, whatever. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> no shadow cards, so no I'll shadows. just defend here. Um, it's attack of five. He gets two hits. Yours. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna give a resource here, so don't forget. Oh yeah, I should be playing with my card face up. Bilbo, how's it going? Okay, um, I will defend. Your points matter usually. So I'll defend here. Oh yeah, nothing. So done. And then this guy attacks here, done. Oh yeah, I forgot to lower my threat and pass him over. Oh crap. We might be okay. Oh, whatever. I don't want to raise my threat. Oh, it's lower my threat. Yeah, sorry, I'll do that action actually. Mm -hmm. After, yeah. Lower my threat by three. 
44. You have to raise your threat by three, but now you have that guy. So instead, this guy will be attacking for four against Gandalf. And Gandalf takes one damage. And already Gandalf. I don't know why I'm exhausting, guys. Okay, then your attack. Um, so my threat is the same as him. So Mary is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, five, six, seven. Okay, and then he gets to ready based on his ability. Okay, I'm going to attack with Gandalf, kill this one, draws me a card. Then I'm going to spend one off Gandalf to discard this card, ready him so he can attack and kill this guy. This goes to victory display. Okay, and done, ready up. This guy's gone at the end of the round. Threat, 45. Draw. Three. Two. That goes wait to for that. Five. Uh, discard, so that's fine for him. Okay. What are we doing? We need willpower, so we're putting this guy in for two. Yeah, Riley would have been so different if I got this location on my side for questing. Like, I could have powered <coughs> through, but the enemy stuff would have been messy. But at least Mel could have taken some enemies and fight them. It just it just worked out the other way this time, which is part of the randomness of it, too, right? All right, I'm yeah, done. Like we, we crushed it a little faster last time. We're almost there. Okay, uh, I will play... I don't know. Let's just put guys in play. Bilbo. Search my deck for a pipe attachment. That's my hand. Shuffle my deck. I don't know. Gladriel, whatever. Let's play this guy right now. Uh, this one. And then for one, I can play this guy. Okay, done. Questing. I'm sure it's very different with four players. I am sure. That'd be cool, but. Yeah, to have somebody dealing with enemies too, or uh, card draw and threat reduction. I don't really have any other shenanigans on this one. I guess we'll put him in too. We'll just hope that we can just quest enough. Twelve. Do you have another Faramir in your deck somewhere? I think so. Oh man, I don't know if rounds for that. All right, here we go. So the end of the round, add one to the archery total at the stage for each ally currently at the stage. Okay. Two more. Uh, Surge, toughness, da da you get plus one for plus two attack against characters of two or fewer hit points. Okay. Boom, winner revealed, discard an ally you control.
Boom, Surge. First player deals X damage to bottom among heroes they control X number of players in the game. So you gotta deal two damage out. <clears throat> that surges into. Wonder Veal, remove all damage from each enemy at the stage. Each enemy at the stage gets extra stuff until the end of the round. I think that's it. Okay, so it's only. Uh, X number. So, oh, at the stage. So it's only two. Oh, do they get extra willpower? Until uh, the end of the round, add one to the archery total at this stage for each ally currently at the oh. stage. No, th this is this one. Okay, they do get plus one willpower. So sorry, this one. You is... said it was only archery two. No, I'm talking about threat. Oh, I'm counting. Oh, oh I'm yeah, counting you're doing threat. threat. Sorry. That's okay. So, uh, so one. So this guy's two, and this guy is two. So I have four. Four. Okay. I'm up six. I'm up, I mean, I'm up seven. Seven, seven. I think that's enough. Yeah, I think we, I think that's just enough, right? Unless I'm... Not sure. Just double count it. Well, I'm up seven. So, so in here is just X. X one, is one. Two. So it's four here. Two. Uh, plus one more for each enemy gets... Plus twenty. It says four total. Yeah, four total. I'm at eleven, so I'm up seven. Okay. So seven plus what do we got eleven here. Yeah. So that's eighteen. That's enough, and we right? Win sixteen, and you win. Oh, we win. Unless I'm missing something. Okay, right? I'm just afraid I'm so. doing something wrong. I know. It feels like we're never gonna win. I knew I, I was gonna like overquest, but and I took out that one for the character that left. But two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Making sure. Yay! High five! We did it, I think. Oh my god. Asterisk. Alright. <clears throat> Unless there was some more, other... One more. Oh, I did have more fair stage, repeated players win the game. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seems good. Oh. That other location was long gone long ago. Wow. Resolution. If fallen into evil is attached to a hero... What's that one? Uh, not that one. Um, is that this? Nope. I don't know. I don't know what that one is. one of those burdens, probably. Or maybe it was one from a previous, a previous one, right? Maybe. I don't know. We, all the attachments were like in play. Yeah, now. just these are the two that Frodo's Choice and Overcome by Grief. And the other one was called Grievous Wound. Yeah. It must be from another, another, I think, another um, scenario. Attach to a hero, add that hero to the list of fallen heroes in the campaign log. Oh, okay. The first player chooses either Followed by Night or Ill Fate to be added to the campaign pool. The chosen burden card has been earned by the players. There is way too many burdens that keep getting added. Yeah. I know they give us the little boons, but they get shuffled in our deck too. And we see all the burdens. We don't see all the boons. Isn't this the last one though? No, because like I said, that's why I said it was the finale, but it could oh. not, it might not be the finale if we kept going through the other campaigns. I see. Yeah, it goes all the way to the end, to Mount Doom. I see. Proto, proto drop in the ring. We out. Um, each player chooses one hero they control, other than the ring bearer or Aragorn, Aragorn, to be taken captive. Record the name of each captive in the notes section of the campaign log. Yeah, and all this would make more sense when we, went in, when we go in the next scenario of the next box. Right? I'm yeah. assuming all this will be like, you know, it'll just keep rolling on through. Do you but, think you play with only two heroes, or do you think you... I... <laughs> Interesting. Sure. Probably a way to get them back, just like in that four set campaign, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. That's it. Holy. That was a tough one. Jeez Louise. We won. On easy mode. It was rough. It was rough. Definitely cool though. Yeah. I, I definitely like this campaign. It, it, so far, it's fun. This one was a little weird, but thematically it makes sense. But yes, we've seen the separated thing before. I don't mind the separated thing. I don't like. I don't like how we can't join back up in the fourth. That seems weird <laughs> yeah. to me. Like, why yeah, is yeah. he still stuck they, on the other side? But they but... give effects that I can help you and take things away, and I can still interact, which is cool. Oh, it's in this quest, it's a treachery card. Oh, it probably says something like attached to a character, but we didn't have oh, to. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's only when you play. Oh, not, not on easy? On easy. Hold on, let's check. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh Oh. Yeah, it's a normal mode card. Normal difficulty. Attach to a non fellowship hero and move it to the first player staging area. Oh no. Here's a fight against this guy. Attach hero loses the hero card type and gains the enemy card type with threat equal to its willpower and engagement cost equal to its threat cost. If fallen into evil is discarded, return attached hero to its owner's control. Oh my god. So you could you could Elrond could come in and like help bring this guy back to her side. But it's like obviously it's Boromir, right? Getting like pulled by the ring, you know, like that's cool. Thematically, that's really cool. Interesting. Um, uh, but yeah, that card can go to hell. Yeah. Yeah, so all the other cards that are removed are just like one of like each enemy type, so there oh, would have wow. been more of them. And, and then a couple more wooded shorelines, and that's it. Like, that's what gets removed to make it easy. Wow. My ass. Easy, man. But yeah. Definitely a cool box. Yeah. Definitely cool box. Definitely cool box. Thanks, Fantasy Flight Games, for sending us that cool box to play. And drive us nuts there at the end. Thanks, thanks for that. Fantabulous. Yeah, definitely a cool campaign. I love this game. Even the frustrating parts, it's like, okay. But when it's frustration because of ambiguous rules, I, I can't let it go, man. It just bugs me. And I know it's like, okay, Rob, remember this is a product from a long, long time ago, you know, seven years ago or something. But it's like, no, no, it's repackaged. They had the chance to spruce up the rules to fix a few things, you know. So I expect that, but it was not there. Um, so there's a few rules lookups during the campaign, like a little more, and then we're just casual, so we don't we don't have all everything memorized, and we don't play this like it's a lifestyle game. We play it like filthy casuals at our kitchen table, you know. Mm -hmm. um, which that's the majority of players who play these games are the casuals. So, yeah, not the hardcore five that uh, run websites and podcasts that still play this game uh, from the old days. But uh, yeah, they need to think of the new player. Uh, Emmy, that is a good point. The recommended decks were awesome for this one. Yeah, I like them. They were very well done. They worked. Again, we're playing easy, but we played easy because of limited card pool. But I, I don't know. I don't know how they work on, on normal mode, though. I'm sure they can win, but like, you know, is it a coin flip? I don't, I don't know. But, uh, I like them a lot. Mm -hmm. I like them a lot. I like they let us play with new heroes. Got the hobbits in play. Got a cool Gandalf rocking out there. We don't, we're not playing with Gandalf in the deck, doing the usual sneak attack Gandalf. So it was like playing outside of our comfort zone, you know. Um, I didn't have Aragorn. I didn't. Uh, we had Stuart of Gondor, but it's kind of cool the way they put like one of them in your deck, two in my deck, which is super weird. Interesting, yeah. But uh, I know it's because they made one of the decks for solo. And then they just tell you to change up like one card. Like I think it would be your deck. And instead, if I wasn't playing, you're supposed to put Gandalfs in from the core set instead of Elrond. Right. But it's cool that they did that. It's cool that they work and it makes sense. And, and they're fun to play. I they, thought mine was fun to play. Definitely were both fun to play. Mm -hmm. uh, well, definitely uh, yours look awesome. And mine was still fun because it was playing with a lot of cards I love in the game anyway. And I'm playing with Gandalf. So, you know, it's awesome. Awesome. But yeah, if you didn't have, do you have the other uh, guy that removes condition attachments? No. no, right? No. Yeah, you don't. So then if you play this solo, or I played solo with just a, a, a Hobbit deck, you would not have Elrond. You have no way to... Remove those attachments. <coughs> That'd be horrible. Yeah. I mean, maybe in that case you change things. Hmm. But I thought it was fun, definitely. Definitely. All right. So we're streaming tomorrow. Um. <clears throat> oh, throat tickle. <laughs> yeah, we're streaming tomorrow. Um, Gen Con. I can't even say it without like it's just... <laughs> We're streaming tomorrow our Gen Con <clears throat> um, event list. We're going to look through. No, no, not technically. Not the, not it's like. It's the second part of our three-part Q&A series to prepare for Gen Con. 
We already did one part where we talked about general planning. You want to do kind of January, February, March, whatever to get ready for the con, things you need to care about. Now we're going to do what you care about in May leading up to Gen Con. This applies to every year where it's mainly focused around the event system. Maybe we'll talk a little bit about parking again, those kind of things. Uh, any other kind of questions that you have if you're going to Gen Con or interested in Gen Con or any gaming convention in general, um, some of it might be relevant, but we're going to specifically talk about the Gen Con event system, get people ready for that, uh, show a bit of it, talk about the wish list or any of the policies, all that kind of thing. And we'll do that tomorrow night, same time as this stream. Um, or no, it's a half hour later I put it for actually. At seven? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she infected me. Yes. Yes. No, I did. no, my throat is dry. I think from he gets that talking. kind of tickle normally. Yeah, I do just from <clears throat> talking for hours and like I, I've only been drinking like one little glass of water. And I don't even drink the whole glass. <clears throat> <clears throat> but yeah, the Rob Dolph, <laughs> Rob Dolph deck worked good. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely fun, man. Playing with the top card reveal on the deck is like feels like you're cheating. It feels broken, right? Yeah, but I love it. I love it. And Just being like, able to play that card. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. I love that kind of trickery. It's so fun. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so that's what we're streaming tomorrow. Uh, later in the week, we should be playing, starting our Hunters AD 2114 campaign, three-player with Kyle. Uh, I should be playing more Final Girl this week. I just got to schedule that. More Frosthaven this coming weekend. Uh, continuing that campaign. So yeah. Ready to get peppered tomorrow night? No, not yet, Matthew, but I'll try to get ready tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I'll try to get ready by tomorrow. I'm gonna. Spend I'm sure Matthew's got a list of questions for you. Yeah, bring them. I see that you've been chatting about it in Discord, which is awesome. Yep. I'll try my best. Uh, I'm gonna in the day kind of look through the Gen Con event system myself, see if anything's kind of changed, get myself refreshed, read about it, try to read through some of the FAQ, see what they've been. I'm gonna read the last few emails they've been sending out, just make sure I kind of know what's going on. We'll go over some of those maybe on stream. Um, and yeah, should be a, a short little information pack stream. We hope short we hope. <laughs> um, but anyways thank you all for watching thanks for hanging out thanks for being here for the series stay tuned to the channel we'll definitely be playing more of this game in the future so make sure you subscribe uh hit the like button thank you to all 28 people who clicked the like button on the stream thank you for helping other people find the channel thank you to all these folks for donating to us subscribing to the channel or i guess memberships it's called not subscribing that's on twitch but thank you for being members uh to the channel or patreon supporting us we appreciate it and uh, yeah, thank you all of you for watching, hanging out, uh, you know, and if you have any of those rules questions, again, our rules answers to some of our debates here, drop them down in the comments below uh, and let us know where, you, where you're getting your rules from. And it helps other players learn from our mistakes too. So that's always good. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next stream. Bye. Bye-bye.